so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And look at where I'm at. Yeah, Boise Art Glass. Yeah, in Boise, Idaho. And at this place, they make art out of glass. Yeah, you know art. When you get a draw, or color, or finger paint. Oh, it gets kind of messy, but it's super fun. Yeah, they make art out of glass here. This is going to be so much fun. Let's go. Whoa, look at this place. Wow, cool. <gasps> Whoa, a lot of glass objects in this case. Whoa, cool. Oh, look, a very colorful jellyfish. Whoa, and there's an octopus right there. Wow, it's so crazy to think that all of these objects are glass. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, a blue vase. Whoa, it says, please do not touch. Whoa, all right. Whoa, a blue one, an orange one. Whoa, cool. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, glass blowing was invented a very long time ago, thousands of years ago, over in Syria. That's really cool. <gasps> look. Oh, it looks like we have some jewelry right here. Oh, whoa, some fake flowers. Yeah, roses. <laughs> it smells like glass. <laughs> whoa. Oh, can you think of anything in your house that's glass? Yeah, like a window. Yes, yeah, so and then you can be inside all warm, looking outside the glass window. Whoa. Can you think of anything else? Yeah, maybe a vase. Whoa, or a glass jar. Whoa, whoa, look at these. Whoa, look at all these cute animals. Whoa, it looks like there's an insect right there. There's a bee. Ooh, looks like a penguin. Whoa, oh, here's a frog. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> What's that? Whoa, look at this one. This one is so beautiful. Yeah, it's my two favorite colors. Do you see the bottom? Yeah, it's the color orange. Yeah, in the top right here, it's the color blue. Oh no, I broke the beautiful blue ornament. This is not good. Maybe that's why it said, please do not touch. <sighs> well, Good thing I know the owner of this place, so why don't I go find him and let him know? Maybe we can replace it together. Yeah. Oh no. Hey, Philip. Hey, Blippi, how are you? Well, not the best. I actually was in your gallery and I broke one of those really pretty blue ornaments. Oh, no big deal. We'll get someone to clean that up. I'm so sorry. You're not mad? No. Really? But I do want you to help me make another one. Oh, really? I would love to help you make another one. Awesome. That Whoa. sounds good. All right. Are we making it here? No, no. Over here, um, we're doing a different type of glass blowing. Oh, what's this called? Um, it's called flame working. Flame working. Yeah. Cool. Can we see how it's done? Absolutely. But you're going to need to put some safety glasses on first. Oh, safety glasses. Whoa, they're really dark. Why is that? Because this flame is really bright. Oh, yeah. It is darker now. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So All right. I'm going to need you to get this colored with the blue. I was about to put some blue on there, okay. which I know is your favorite color. Yeah, yeah, you right, know so me. You're gonna grab it in the middle, okay. and hold it in the flame and get it hot, and okay. then you're gonna add some color. Okay, Ready? So just hold it right here. Yep. And turn it. Whoa, turn it. Yep, yep, good. All right, there we go. Whoa! So, we're taking clear glass, and then we're heating it up, and then we're gonna add some blue color? Yes, once All the glass right. gets hot, and you roll it in the color, the color will stick to it. Okay, is it hot enough? About three more seconds. All right, three, two, one. Ready? Go. All right. Whoa. All right, Whoa. good job. Keep Whoa. rolling it. All right, now back in the flame and melt it on there. All right. Whoa, you... it's getting soft, I can tell, because yeah. it looks like it's drooping. <laughs> Gravity's pulling it down, right? That's correct. Whoa. Whoa, now it's really hot again, right? Yes, and ready for another layer. All right, here we go. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> nice job. All right. Whoa, it's definitely not the perfect circle that it once was. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. All right. All whoa, right. how's that? That looks perfect. One more layer? One more layer. All right. There we go. Yep, now melt it in. Once that gets melted in, we'll set that down and let it cool. 
And then let's go make that ornament. All right, that sounds like fun. Okay, this is so much fun. <laughs> All right, looking good. All right, yeah. let's pull good. that out and hold it for just a minute. Let it get cool. Okay, keep turning it like yep. this. Yep. All right. All right, now we'll set it down. Okay. Give that a chance to cool down. I'm gonna turn my torch off and then we'll head over to the studio and make the ornament. All right, that sounds like fun. Thank you so much for letting me do that. No problem. All right, let's make that ornament. <laughs> Come on. Let's do it. Wow, this place is so cool. <laughs> it is pretty awesome. Whoa, look at all of these. Whoa, looks like a soap dispenser, right? That's correct. Whoa, and what's this one? That's one of our tall soap dispensers. Ooh, a tall soap dispenser and a short soap dispenser. Cool. Whoa, and did you make these over here too? Yes, we did. Wow, look at that. Looks like a slug. Whoa, cool. Hey, little slug. <laughs> wow. You make some really cool pieces of art here. Oh, oh, and look, woo, is this glass? Yeah, it's colored glass, it's called frit. Frit, and what is glass even made out of? Glass is made out of mostly sand, um, some, some limestone, and some soda ash. Wow, but mostly sand, that's really cool. And this kind of glass is called frit because it's really small and colorful? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's oh. just one way to add color. Oh, okay, looks like we have some green, Whoa! Looks like we have some red. Whoa! And also, orange! Yeah! Cool! All right, so many colors to choose from. <laughs> well, let's see. What color was that ornament? Well, it, th it was like a blue. I think you said it was blue. Yeah. Was it Was it a see-through blue or a non-see-through blue? Um, oh. <laughs> well, it you can see through it, yeah. Okay, so then I think it was this one, because this, this blue you can't see through. Okay, yeah, it was this one. Yeah, it's kind of transparent and see-through. All right, so All is right. this the one? Yes, the one, let's do it. You All ready? Right. Yeah, let's All go. Right. All First right. First thing I want you to do is dump some of that into this little tin right here. Okay, pour some of the blue in the container. All right, about half? Uh, about half the bag. Okay. We can always put back what we don't use. All there right. you go, perfect. Like okay. Wow, look at that. So colorful. <laughs> All right, there now we, go. we need to put our safety glasses on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Gotta be safe. Awesome, okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm okay. ready. So I'm gonna get some hot glass out of the furnace over here okay. on the end of a pipe. All and right. then I'm gonna show you how to add our color, okay. how to hold the pipe safely without burning yourself. Ooh yeah, okay. okay. Really important. Yeah, Okay. exactly. All right. So this is our pipe, okay? okay. It is hollow. Pipe. We do blow, th blow through these, uh -huh. okay? So I'm gonna get some glass out of the furnace, which okay. is in here. In here is a big bowl full of liquid hot glass. Whoa. It's 2,000 degrees. Okay, I'm definitely not gonna go close to that. Whoa, look in there. Whoa. So I stick the pipe in here and I turn it. And when I do that, the glass sticks to it. You see that? Oh, wow. Yeah, there's glass on the end now. And it definitely looks very hot. Oh yeah, so we're gonna pull the glass off of the pipe. Okay. Just a little bit. That's the beginning of the ornament there. You see it coming Whoa. off the end there? Oh, yeah. yeah. You're squeezing it uh -huh, or pushing uh -huh. it to the end. So this part is the ornament. This part holds this part on the pipe. Okay. And you have to turn it all the time, otherwise you see it falling. Yeah, right? I sink. Okay. Yeah, gravity's so now, pulling it down. When we add color, we just kind of press it in here like this. Okay. okay. Do you yeah. want to give it a try? Sure. Okay. Yeah, kind of right like earlier. Yep, yeah, putting turning, it in the turning. Color. Keep your hands right. away from the top of the pipe. Okay. And press it in there. Give it a little more of a press. Press. Okay. Give it a chance to stick. Lift, turn, and press again. Lift, okay. turn, and press again. Yep. Good. Oh, there we go. I'm going to have you go all around by yourself one time. Push right. a little harder now that the glass is getting colder. Yep. You feel it getting colder, right? Yeah, it's getting a lot tougher. Yeah. Not as soft. So that means we need to reheat it. Okay. okay. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. We're going to use our reheating oven, Ooh. which is this guy right here. Cool. It's really glowy hot. It's also right. 2,000 degrees. Ooh, very, very hot. So when you take this pipe and put it in there to reheat this glass, so uh -huh. you can add one more layer of color, you're going to go in here like this, set it on this roller here. Yep. And then you're going to slide it inside there and turn it. Just keep okay? turning. And count to 10. And then when you count to 10, then you'll come back out, turning, okay. and you'll head over and do one more layer of the blue. All right. Sounds are you ready? I am ready. All right. Are you right-handed? I am right-handed. Okay, so you're going to hold it this way. Okay. All right, let's head over here. Oh, all right. Set it on that roller. Slide it in, perfect. And turn. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one. All right, come on out. All right. Remember to keep that point pointing down oh. and go right into the color. Remember to pause a little bit. There you go. All right. And again. Nice. Whoa. Good How's job. That look? Doing great. One more time. Okay, now we need to melt that smooth, right? You see how rough it is right yeah, there? Yeah. So do. we're gonna go back to the reheating oven. Okay. Okay. All and right. this time we'll be in here for about one minute. One minute. One minute. All it right. needs to get really hot. Okay, one minute. Here we go. Okay, so come on back over here. Okay. Still turning the pipe. I want you to roll it on the table. Keep the okay. pipe down low level with the table. Okay. There you go. Good. And let's just roll, roll, roll. Yep, all the way towards me and then all the way back the other way. Okay. Good job. Am I doing good? You're doing great. All right. Okay. Now, we're going to reheat one more time and I'm going to get a bubble started inside there. Okay, so I want oh, you to go back wow. inside. Okay. The reheating oven one more time. And once you get inside there, I'm going to take over for a quick minute. All right. Okay? Sounds good. All right. So I'm going to take there over. You go. So Whoa. now, while I'm getting this ready, I want you to go grab the blow hose that's on the bench over there. Okay. okay? I'll be right back. Okay? <laughs> All right. Whoa, this looks like the blow hose. <laughs> so, the black part of the blow hose is going to end up on here in a minute. Okay? okay? But first, we want to look at our glass. It's looking Ooh. pretty hot, right? It's definitely Moving. very hot. Now, I'm going to give it one more roll like this, and then I'm going to blow into the pipe and trap the air with my thumb on the end. Whoa. And that's going to push air into the glass. Whoa. And it's going to make it bigger. Cool. So just wait just one second, and you'll yep. start to see it get rounder. You see that? Well, yeah, it's expanding. Now it's a little bit bigger. So now it has a little pocket of air in there. Oh. But it's cool. not, is it? It's probably not as big as the one you broke, yeah? No, it was, it was a little bit okay, bigger. Okay, like so this then big. you're gonna need to make it bigger by blowing into it. Okay. Okay. How do we do that? So, we're gonna hook this up. Okay. We're gonna get this hot one more time, okay? Okay. Then we're gonna walk over here together, and while I'm sitting down, oh, a little tangled up there, yep. you got it? <laughs> got it. All right. So, I'll be sitting down here like this, Yep. doing this. Okay. okay. As I'm doing this, I will let you know when to start blowing, but remember not to blow too hard, okay. because if you blow too hard, this will pop like a balloon. Oh, okay, okay so we don't soft. want that. <laughs> no, no, we want to be soft and steady, kind of like blowing bubbles through a straw. Have you blown bubbles through a straw? Oh yeah, Oh That's yeah, fun. me too. <laughs> okay, here we go. Are right. you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Okay, we're gonna walk together. Okay. All right. And you can come a little closer if you want, that way you can really get a uh, good eye oh, on the yeah. ornament. Are you okay. ready? Oh, I'm ready. Start blowing. Okay. Blow, 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 blow. Blow harder. There you go. There you go. Keep going. Stop. Take a breath and blow again. Almost there. What do you think? Good size? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And stop there. Perfect. Whoa. Does that look like the one that you broke in there? Yeah, that's the All perfect right. size. Okay, well, we have one step left. All right. Let's take this blow hose off. Okay. And we're going to go. go over here to our finishing station. Wow, okay. the finishing station. Finishing station. All so right. So let's head this way. Okay. Flippy, you want you to stand right here. All right. Okay. Wow, this is so much fun. So now we're going to tap this guy right off of here. I'm going to squeeze this area uh -huh. with my diamond shears. Whoa, okay? cool. Diamond shears. And I'm going to give it a tap, and it just pops off. Oh, yeah. Do you see that little hole there? Yep, I do. We're going to cover that up and make a loop out of that. Okay. Okay? Perfect. So I want you to grab these tweezers. Oh. Tweezers. Wow, oh, cool. Yeah, I've used these I'm gonna before. I'm going to get a little bit more glass. Okay. Wow. I'm going to put some glass on here, and together we're going to squeeze the top of this and pull it into a loop, okay? Okay. So you see how we've got that little dollop on there? Yep. We're going to pinch the very top of that, yep. Okay. Pinch it, and we're going to pull it up. Yep. Now we're going to twist it all the way around and push it right on there. Push it on there a little more, and then make any adjustments if you need any. Okay. Like that? Yeah. That looks like it. All right. Now, it, it's stiff already. See how fast it cooled down? Yeah, exactly. Check this out. Whoa, Whoa, cool. Now you can hang it up. Wow, we did such a great job. But it's still really hot. Yeah. Feel that? Yeah, I definitely it's don't want to touch don't that. Don't want to touch it. So yeah. it has to go in the oven to slowly cool down. All right. Or else it will crack. So I'm going to stick it in there, okay? All right. Whoa, this was so much fun replacing that beautiful blue ornament. We did such a great job. Whoa, <laughs> there we go. Good job, we did it. 
we replaced the beautiful blue ornament. Whoa! I was definitely responsible for breaking that thing. Yeah, and we had two options. I could either purchase the blue ornament or we could replace it. And that was so much fun, replacing the blue ornament with you. <laughs> yeah! And now I know, definitely next time I'm in a store like this, everything is very delicate. And I'm definitely not gonna touch anything anymore in this store. <laughs> so much fun blowing glass together? Yeah! And hey, wasn't it interesting how the glass started out as really hard, but then as you heated it up, it became really soft. And then you can move it around, you can squish it, and then you can move it into a shape that you made a beautiful art piece. And then when it cooled down, it became really hard again. Whoa, that was so much fun. <laughs> Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, we are here at the Rhythm Discovery Center in Indianapolis, Indiana. <laughs> This place is the world's only interactive percussion and drum museum. And I am so excited to go inside and learn all about drumming. <laughs> Wait a minute, do you hear that? It sounds like someone's already drumming. <laughs> Let's go see who it is. Come on. Whoa, it's a real life drummer. <laughs> Let's go say hello. Flippy. It's nice to meet you. What's your name? Rob. Oh, Rob, you are really good at drumming. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we're looking to learn all about drums today, but I've never seen a drum that looks like this. Oh, well, this is called a log drum because it's made out of wood. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. How does it work? So it has these two tongues cut into it that you play with these mallets. <laughs> Do you want to try it? <gasps> I would love to try. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna use these mallets and play on the tongues. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, the log drum's pretty fun. That was great. Do you wanna see some other instruments? Whoa, I would love to. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll take those. And let's uh, let's go further into the museum. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. This looks like a really, really, really big drum. <laughs> what it is. What's this one called? It's called a gong drum. A gong drum? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Do I use this mallet to play the gong drum? You do. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it's really fun playing a gong because a really big gong drum makes a really big sound. <laughs> Oh, thanks for showing me this. You're welcome. So you played a couple instruments now. Do you want to learn how to keep a beat? Oh, well, what's a beat? A beat is a rhythm that plays in the background of other music that repeats over and over again. Whoa, yeah, I'd like to play a beat. Okay, well, let's try a really easy one. We'll do this by clapping our hands. Okay. So we're going to clap and we're going to count up to four. We're going to do it twice. <laughs> okay, I can do that. Count to four with us and we'll clap and make beats together. All right, ready? I'm ready. One, one two, three. Three, four. four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Do you want to try it on the drum? Yeah. You can make beats on a drum? Absolutely. Give it a shot. Okay. <laughs> Let's make the beats on a drum. You can do it with clapping at home. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Making beats is a lot of fun especially with a big drum. <laughs> wow. I never knew drums had so many different shapes and sizes. <laughs> Are all drums made out of wood and material like this? No, I have a bunch of instruments over here made out of metal. Do you want to see them? Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> all right, let's oh. do it. I'll take this. Oh, look at it. Yeah, all of these drums are made out of metal. Uh, but they don't really look like drums. 
Oh, these are part of a bigger family of instruments called percussion instruments. Whoa, well, what's a percussion instrument? Percussion instruments are anything, any instruments that we play by hitting, shaking, or scraping. Oh, so percussion means it's an instrument that you hit, <laughs> shake, whoa, or scrape. <laughs> That's exactly right. Wow. Whoa, and what are these instruments' names? Oh, yeah, so we have a desk bell like you would see in a fancy old hotel. Ooh. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> we have cowbells there in the back. Oh, cowbells, like the animal? Yeah, you put them around their necks so they don't get lost. Oh, you don't want to lose your cow. <laughs> uh, we have altar bells, which are used in old churches. Oh, that's cool. They're so shiny. <laughs> oh, and Rob, what's that instrument in the back? That instrument back there is called a thumb piano or a kalimba. A kalimba? Kalimba. Kalimba. <laughs> kalimba. Kalimba. <laughs> that one's fun to say. <laughs> yeah, it is. Wow. Those are some pretty amazing percussion instruments. Do you want to try this one back here? Ooh, that one's another really big one. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> wow. What's this instrument called? This instrument is called a tam-tam. Whoa. Hey. And look at this. It has a big mallet just like the gong drum. Hmm. And the tam-tam is big just like the gong drum too, huh? But is there something different about this one? Yeah, it's made entirely out of metal. Whoa. It's just like the gong drum, but because it's made of metal, maybe it'll sound different. <laughs> Can I play it? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Tam-tam! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Tam-tams are really, really loud. <laughs> Can I hit it again? Maybe this time a little softly. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> wow! There are so many amazing percussion instruments made out of wood and metal. Hey, can you show us some more instruments? Sure, come with me. <laughs> I can't wait to keep drumming. Come on! Whoa! <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> there are so many amazing instruments. Rob, where are we? We're in an exhibit called Evolving Sounds, where I keep instruments from all over the world and from different styles of music. Whoa, they look so cool. Wow, and this one's really big. <laughs> What's this instrument called? This instrument's called a vibraphone. Do you want to hear how it sounds? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds so beautiful and spacey. <laughs> wow, and it kind of looks like a piano. Yeah, it has bars here that kind of look like the white keys on a piano, and bars here that look like the black keys. <laughs> Libby, I know you play a little bit. Do you want to try? Okay, <laughs> let's try playing the vibraphone. <laughs> here we go. I really like the vibraphone because it can make beautiful music or silly sounds. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, and Rob, is this also a vibraphone? Yes, this is actually a very special vibraphone. It's got a, it's got its own name. It's called the Celestophone, Ooh. and it's actually made out of meteorites or space rocks. Whoa! No way! That's so cool. Look, it's just like the other vibraphone, except this vibraphone is really sparkly and reflective, kind of like a mirror. <laughs> hey, I can see myself. <laughs> wow. Would you play a song for us? Sure. <laughs> You're really good at playing a lot of instruments. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that was so cool hearing the Celestophone. <laughs> oh, I think I know what this other instrument is. Oh yeah? It's a drum. <laughs> oh yeah, this is one of my favorite drums. This is called a snare drum. Whoa. You've probably seen it if you've ever seen a parade. Wow, <laughs> could you play it for us so we can hear out sounds? Absolutely. I 
love a snare drum. It sounds so cool, like I'm in a marching band, marching along. <laughs> Ooh, and I know what these are too. Oh yeah? These are cymbals. <laughs> Crash cymbals, but I didn't know they were percussion instruments. Yeah, because you hit them together. <laughs> oh yeah. If something is hit together, or you scratch it, or you shake it, it's percussion. <laughs> You mind if I crash these cymbals? Please. Here we go. It's gonna be really loud. <laughs> Whoa, that was really loud. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about you play the snare drum and I'll play the crash cymbals and we can be a band. That sounds great. Let's try it out. Okay, here we go. <laughs> We played together. <laughs> hey, we were a band. Yeah. yeah. That's when people play music together. <laughs> wow, well, thank you for teaching us about these amazing instruments and <laughs> playing the snare drum with me. Oh, I played the cymbals. <laughs> well, are there other instruments we can learn to play? Sure, let's go this way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, look at this place. It's so cool. There are so many percussion instruments and drums. <laughs> Yeah, Blippi, this is Groove Space. So this is a place where you can take any instrument you want and play whatever kind of music you feel like. <laughs> Good, well, I feel like playing all kinds of music today. <laughs> all right, well, I actually have to go practice. Do you want to stay here and play a bit? Yeah, that sounds great. You go practice, and I'll play with some of the drums and instruments. <laughs> all right, I'll see you later. I'll see you soon. <laughs> wow, I am so excited to play some fun drums and percussion instruments. But I do have one problem. Hmm. Which one should I play first? <laughs> we'll just have to decide. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of drums. Whoa, look at this. There are drums that are really big, and this one is a circle. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. But drums, they come in all sizes and shapes like this. <laughs> yeah, this one right here, look, it's a rectangle. <laughs> yeah. It's a rectangle with four sides. Two of them are a little longer, so it's not a square. It's a rectangle. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm, and what else should we play with? Whoa, look at this. Yeah, have you seen one of these before? <laughs> this is a shaker. You just go on the side with your hand and shake. <laughs> Whoa. We have a small shaker, but if you want, we also have really big shakers. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow! Yeah, this one's kind of silly looking. <laughs> yeah, it's covered in beads and is the color red and black. <laughs> but the shaker under it is the color white. <laughs> Whoa! I wonder what things we can use to make beats and really fun drum sounds. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this instrument, it kind of looks like a drum, but it has all these little things on the side. Yeah, so when you shake it, <laughs> it jingles and rattles. <laughs> this is a tambourine. Whoa, <laughs> and I love playing tambourines. They make such a fun sound. That is so much fun, playing all kinds of drums and percussion instruments. But we should probably find Rob. Hmm. You are really good at playing drums. <laughs> Thanks, Blippi. Whoa, what kind of drum is this? This is a drum set, so it's a bunch of drums that you play as one instrument. Whoa, <laughs> there are so many drums and cymbals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks really cool. <laughs> Do you want to give it a shot? I would love to give it a shot. <laughs> All right. Sounds so fun. <laughs> Whoa. There you go. Ooh. So first, I need my drumsticks 
And do I sit here? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> All ready to play. Uh, but Rob, do you have some tips on playing a drum set? Yeah, do you remember the counting we did earlier when we were clapping? Yeah, remember? We counted, clapped our hands, and made beats. <laughs> All right, so this time, your right hand is gonna do exactly what we did when we clapped earlier. It's gonna play one, two, three, four. <laughs> and then your left hand is actually gonna uh, stay in the same time, but it's just gonna play on two and four. Oh, cool. Okay, we're gonna play on this right here with our right hand and go one, two, three, four, but only play on two and four with our left hand. <laughs> but the tricky part is doing it at the same time. <laughs> Let's start one at a time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and now just two and four. One, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and now together. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's really fun. That was great. Well, I don't want to just play the drum set. I want to rock. <laughs> Well, thank you for the tips, Rob. It was You're so much fun learning about drums and percussion instruments and showing us around today. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. I do have one more thing we could do, though. One more thing? Yeah, I have some friends coming over to play music. Would you like to join us? Oh, I would love to join you. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this is my buddy, Blippi. Whoa, hello. This looks like an awesome drum circle. <laughs> Is it okay if I drum with you? What do you guys think? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! All right! Okay. Oh, I think we're ready to start. All right. I think we've done this a couple times. Let's ready? try this. Can we do an impression of a thunderstorm? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> All right, let's start. The wind is picking up. Ooh. I'm starting to hear a little bit of rain. Can you use your fingers? Starting to hear a little more rain. It's a lot of rain! Thunder! Ah! All right. It's just raining a little bit now. Really quiet rain. Oh, it's getting a little heavier. And a little louder. Okay. All right, do you guys want to try to play a rhythm together? Yeah, that would be great. Okay. Uh, I'll play it once and you guys play it back to me. We'll try it out. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was great. Let's try it together. all about drums, percussion, 
and being in my very first drum circle. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I got something for you if you want to keep playing drums after you leave. Really? I would love something yeah. to keep playing drums. All right, there you go. Whoa, my very own drumsticks. <laughs> Give them a try. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, they light up. They're my favorite colors, blue and orange. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, Rob. You're uh, welcome. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> hey, I had so much fun with you learning about drums and percussion instruments here at the Rhythm Discovery Center in Indianapolis, Indiana. <laughs> Hey, what was your favorite instrument that we played today? Really? I like that one too! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great! Okay! B-L-I-P-P-I! -P -P -I. Blippi! Good job! Well, I'll see you real soon! Oh, and I need to do some more drumming! <laughs>
we get really lucky, we can ride in a real race car. Whoa, and look at this. <laughs> it's a real life race car. And professional race car drivers, Alexander Rossi and James Hinchcliffe. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Blippi. Hey, Blippi. Hey, Blippi, how are you doing? I'm doing great. It's really nice to meet you. So good to see you, man. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Is this your race car? Sure is. Whoa, it looks so fast and really cool. And hey, do you notice something? <laughs> you have my name on it. You sure do, man, just for you. Ah, uh, thanks. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Can we do it? Yeah. All right. Goodness. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy, <laughs> good job. <laughs> Whoa, there are so many cool parts. Can you tell us a little bit about the race car? I'd love to, Blippi. Why don't we start right here with the tires? Now, this race car's got four tires, just like your car at home, but the tires are very different. You notice how it's really smooth on top, no treads on it? We call it a slick tire. That gives the race car more grip in the corners, which is obviously really important. Very special tires for these cars. And like the tires on your road car, well, they're gonna last you a while, six months, a year. These are only gonna last us for 25 laps. So we have to come in a lot and change tires all the time because they don't last very long. Whoa, that's a lot of tires and a lot of pit stops. <laughs> and a lot of money. A set of tires on your road car might cost you a couple hundred dollars. One of these tires is $1,500 and we've got four every time we come in. What? $1,500? <laughs> that's an expensive tire, <laughs> but it sure looks cool. Whoa. And this race car is really colorful. Do you know the colors on the race car? <laughs> yeah, we have the color yellow, the color red, the color blue, and the color white. <laughs> Let oh. me show you one of my favorite things, Blippi. So this is the steering wheel. Do you want to hold it? Yeah. Okay, so Ooh. it kind of looks like a video game. It's very different than your mom and dad's, you know, car steering yeah. wheel. It's got a lot of buttons. It's got a screen that gives you a lot of information about the engine, how oh. fast you're going. On the back, you have the shifters. So that's to go up, that's to go down. And this is the clutch. So oh. very, very complicated, very, very cool. Um, and it's it's all part of what makes a race car go as fast as they do. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, do you see that? Look, the shifters. <laughs> They're little, little switches on the back. Little switches, little paddles. Do you little wanna know paddles. what else makes the car go really fast? Yeah. James will show you up front. Come over here, Blippi. There's someone I wanna show you. Hey, James. So you see this part right here? You yeah. don't see this on a road car, do you? Mm -mm. Nope, my this car is... doesn't have that. <laughs> <laughs> this is called the front wing. And what the front wing does is generate something called downforce. So what downforce is, is when the air pushes the car into the ground and it gives you more grip in the corners. So the faster you go, the faster the air hits this wing, the harder it pushes the car in the ground, the more grip you have. Whoa, that's really important. We don't want our race car to become an airplane. <laughs> no, we don't want it flying away. <laughs> We've talked a lot about what's, what makes a race car different than your car that you see on the road, but one of the things that's very similar is we have what's called an aero screen in IndyCar, and it's, it's basically a windshield. And it was designed and introduced in 2020 to help protect the drivers. You know, we go over 200 miles an hour with over 30 different cars on the racetrack with us at the same time, and sometimes accidents happen. And so the number one thing for, for the series and for the Indianapolis Motor Speedway is to protect the drivers and make it a safe sport. So this was a major introduction, the first in all of motor racing, to put a screen on an open wheel race car. So that's very, very similar to a windshield that you'd have on a road car. And then you also have mirrors. So this is so we can see what's behind us. Huh, that's so cool. Yeah, look at this. This is a really cool era screen. Very cool and very, <laughs> very strong. It can withstand up to six pickup trucks uh, the weight of six pickup trucks on top of that, so incredibly what? strong. <laughs> the weight of six pickup trucks? That's really heavy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, Alex, I wanted to ask, since you have the aero screen, do you still have to wear a helmet? You do still have to wear a helmet. You know, ultimately, we're still driving in an open cockpit. You, you can see there's no roof on the top. So there are still potentials to have things come and hit your head, and as fast as we're going, you want to make sure you're as safe as possible. Safety first is really important. <laughs> Wow, well, thank you both for teaching us about all these different parts of this really cool race car. <laughs> of course, but I mean, it's not just about the car and the driver. There's a pit crew, too. Do you want to go meet them? I would love to go meet the pit crew. All right, let's go. Come on. Whoa, look at where we are. We're in the garage. <laughs> and I'm so excited to meet the pit crew. <laughs> Flippy, I want to introduce you to two of our mechanics. We got Brad and... Brad. Hi, hey, nice to meet you, Blippi. Hi, Brad. Nice to so meet Blippi, you. So, Blippi, the Brads are going to show you how to change a tire. Oh, 
Whoa, Brad and Brad, they both have the same name. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> Brad, that would be really nice of you to show us how to change a tire. Sure can, Blippi. This is a wheel gun. You take the wheel gun, you put it on the wheel nut, pull the trigger, it comes off. You take the old tire, set it down, pick up a new tire, slam it on, change the gun, and you're done. Whoa, that was really fast. You take the wheel gun to take off the wheel nut to take off the tire really, really fast. <laughs> Brad, how fast can you change a tire? A good one is under five seconds. Whoa, under five seconds? Woo, <laughs> that's really fast. <laughs> well, you think I could change a tire? Sure, I'm gonna have Brad, the other Brad, <laughs> help you. Oh, thanks Brad. Oh, hi Brad. First thing you're gonna want to put on some gloves. Okay, first we wanna put on gloves. <laughs> Safety first. Safety. One glove and two gloves. <laughs> now that we have on our gloves, I think we can change the tire. Whoa, <laughs> that's really heavy. <laughs> I'll give it to Brad. <laughs> and we take the other tire, we put it on the race car. Now, we need to put the wheel nut back on the car. And here we go. Now, we put it back on. There you Ooh, go. There it is. <laughs> nice work. Whoa. Good job, Lippy. <laughs> Whoa, that was really hard. I did it a little bit longer than five seconds, but I just need a little practice. <laughs> wow, that was so amazing. Well, Brad, what else does a pit crew do for a race car or a race car driver? The pit crew guys clean the car, build the car, make the car for the drivers each race weekend. Wow, that is so cool. Feels like they have a really important job to have a great race. <laughs> oh, and that reminds me, well, what else do you need to do to get ready for a race? Well, Blippi, driving a race car is incredibly physical. You have four to five G-forces, which is four to five times your body weight pushing against you in either a forward and back motion or a side to side motion. So we do a lot of stretches, James and I, before we get into a race car to do a race. Sometimes the races are two to three hours long, so you want to make sure your body's nice and warm and ready to go. So the first thing we focus on is our neck. You know, we have the helmet on, that weighs five or six pounds. We have a lot of load that's placed on our neck with all those G-forces. So let's just grab one side of our neck and, and kind of pull it gently to the side. And we'll do that for a couple seconds and then go to the other side. Wow. So you want to make sure you do it all. And then push on the back to kind of get the, the back of the neck warmed up, cool. and then push on the forehead and push push against to get that, that part of your neck warmed up. So it's really good to help make sure that you know you don't get tired in the race. The next thing we can do, in, a, in an Indy car, there's no power steering. So the steering wheel is very heavy. Very heavy. It's very difficult to control the car, so you want to make sure that your shoulders and arms are warmed yeah. up. So we'll Probably needs really circles. strong arms, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah for Whoa. sure. So Whoa. forward. Forward, backwards, yeah. yeah. Back. Whoa. You can make circles with us, too. Whoa! <laughs> and the last thing you do is, you know, you are sitting for a, for a long period of time, right? So you want to make sure that your legs are as warmed up as possible. So okay. what we can do is we can do a couple, we can either do jumping jacks or we can do lunges, James. What do you think we should do? I think we should try a lunge. Try Thanks a lunge. Okay, oh, here we go. You can lunge with us too. Okay, here we go. Step forward. Here we go. Switch, switch legs. That's good guys. Make sure you get both of them. Yeah, do Ooh. one more. All right, so now you warmed up your legs. Good job. Your arms <laughs> and your neck. So you're ready to drive a race car. <laughs> ready to drive a race car. But I think there might be something else I'm missing. There are a couple rules when you drive the race car, and so you have to make sure you know those rules. And those okay. are really based around the flags. Now the flags all have different colors, so I'm gonna go grab those flags and I can show you what each one means, okay? Okay, all right. I'll see you soon. Whoa. There's a lot that goes into having a really good race. I'm really excited to see all these flags. And what all the colors mean. <laughs> so here we go, here's a couple flags. First one right here, what color is this, Clippy? Whoa, this is the color red, <laughs> a red flag. The red flag is when there's a stoppage in the race, and that happens if we have bad weather or a bad accident that they need to clean up. Okay. I'll hold it for you. Thanks. Next, we have the yellow flag. Ooh, yellow flag. Yellow <laughs> means caution, either in the corner or on the whole track. If there's just one car that's maybe off track, you've got to slow down and be cautious in that corner. But then once you're past that corner, you can move on to hopefully <gasps> see this one. I know this flag. 
green flag. <laughs> yeah, the green flag. And I bet I know what this means too. Let's hear it. It's okay to go as fast as you can. As Woo! fast as you can. That's the one that everybody really loves seeing at the start of a race. <laughs> but at the end of a race, this one's my favorite. This is the checkered flag. Whoa! <laughs> and if you see this one first, it means the race is over and you won. Whoa! The checkered flag. <laughs> that means this is a really important flag. And one day, I hope I can see it if I win the race. <laughs> Woo! Hey, Blippi, I've got an idea. How about I show you what it's like to win the Indianapolis 500? Whoa! You would? Yeah. I would love to find out what it's like. All right, follow me. Okay. Let's go follow Alex and see what it's like to win the Indianapolis 500. <laughs> see you soon. Woo! Whoa, look at where we are. Flippy, <laughs> do you know what this is? Whoa, this is it. The Borg Warner Trophy in real life. <laughs> so the Borg Warner Trophy uh, was created in 1936 and every single winner of the race, their face is engraved onto the trophy. <laughs> Whoa, look, there's lots of little faces. <laughs> They're right here. Wow, and they're from so many different years. Hey look, it has their name and the year that they won and their average miles per hour. <laughs> the average, average miles per hour for the whole 500 miles. And so while we're down here, Louis Meyer in 1936, when he won the Indy 500, he requested a glass of ice cold buttermilk when he got out of the race. But <laughs> we've, we've kept that as a tradition and now every single year the winner gets a glass of milk. Oh, that sounds like a good tradition. Do you know what a tradition is? <laughs> yeah, a tradition is something that has been done for a really long time and it's important, so we keep doing it. <laughs> sounds like there's lots of traditions if you win. So here's your glass of milk as if you won the race. It's not buttermilk, keep in mind, but it's kind of cool, it's kind of special. You're at the victory podium, you have a glass of milk. It's almost <laughs> like you won the race. It's almost like I won the race! Flippy wins! <laughs> time to drink the victory milk! <laughs> Go. Like a pro. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Excuse me. <laughs> and the next thing you get if you win the race is, well, because this trophy is five and a half feet tall, it's worth over two to three million dollars. It's worth a lot of money. They give you a miniature version of the Borg Warner trophy called the Baby Borg, which you get to take home with you and keep it at your house. Whoa! Whoa! I can't believe I'm holding a real Borg Warner Trophy, a miniature one. <laughs> wow, it is so beautiful, it has wings on the side, <laughs> and it looks like it's made of actual real silver. <laughs> oh, thanks, Alex. You're welcome. Thank you so much for coming and learning about the Indianapolis 500 and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and we really hope to have you come back next year so you can see the race in person. Whoa, I would love to come see the race in May. <laughs> it sounds so fun and exciting. <laughs> Thanks for teaching us about all these different things. Absolutely, it was so nice to meet you. Enjoy the rest of your time here, and I can't wait to see you again. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye, Bye Alex. <laughs> wow, can you believe it? We met an actual professional race car winner and someone who won the Indy 500. <gasps> I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, maybe we can keep exploring and learn some more things about the racetrack or another race car. <laughs> Come on. Look at what we found. <laughs> Well, right now, we're inside turn one at the garages, and it looks like we found a race car. <laughs> Look, not just a race car, but a race car driver. <laughs> well, I've had so much fun learning about racing and racetracks with you. <gasps> Maybe we can ask them about being a race car driver and learn even more. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> Whoa! It's professional race car driver, Sarah Fisher. <laughs> Hi, Sarah, I'm Blippi. Hi, Blippi, nice to meet you. Well, it's really nice to meet you. <laughs> We've been learning all about racing and being race car drivers. <laughs> What's it like being a race car driver? It's a lot of fun, but it is sure a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sure looks like fun. We love going really fast, ring, 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 running, and driving. <laughs> well, have you been a race car driver for a really long time? I have. I started in go-karts when I was just four years old. Oh, four years old? Riding a go-kart? <laughs> I love go-karts. Hey, have you ever ridden a go-kart before? <laughs> uh, but this looks a little different from a go-kart. This is really a big race car. Whoa, look at it. It has really big wheels and tires. 
Wow, all kinds of parts to it. <laughs> oh, Sarah, do you have a favorite part to the race car? Oh, absolutely. I have many, but one of my favorites is the rear view mirror. It was actually developed here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway in 1911, the first race. Whoa, 1911? That's a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, you see? Look, it has a rear view mirror just like your car. So if you're driving along, <laughs> you can look in the mirror and see what's behind you. This one looks different from the other race car we saw. It has two seats. <laughs> one, two, two seats. <laughs> Hey, what's the second seat for? Well, this car is purposefully built so that I can give people a ride and they can see just how fast an Indy car can go. <laughs> Whoa, that sounds really, really fun. <laughs> well, I've never been in an Indy car before, but they sound really fast. Well, what's it feel like to be in an Indy car? Do you get really nervous or shaky because you're bumping along really fast? <laughs> Well, it's just like any other sport, sure, you can get a little nervous, but once you're in the car, all buckled in, it's time to go. <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool. And this car is really colorful too. Oh, do you know what colors the race car is? Yeah, look, it's the color green and the color blue, <laughs> dark blue. <laughs> wow, this is a really cool race car. I wish I could drive in it. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, because it has a second seat, why don't you come for a ride with me and see what it's like? Me? Ride with you in a race car? You bet. <laughs> yeah, I would love to ride. Whoa, do you think I should ride in the race car? <laughs> okay, we'll have to do it. <laughs> well, let's go get a uniform and a helmet and get buckled up and ready to go. Okay, great. <laughs> Time to get suited up. <laughs> wow, it even has a bow tie. <laughs> I have two bow ties. <laughs> I think we're all suited up. Let's go, come on. <laughs> hmm. I wonder where Sarah went. <laughs> Good thing I have my binoculars. <laughs> hmm. I don't see her anywhere. I think I hear something. Oh, I see something. Whoa! That was really, really fast! <laughs> I can't wait for her to come around again! I think it's time for us to ride! Climb 
I'll see you at the top. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Whoa, we're up so high. <laughs> Today was awesome! Here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, <laughs> we learned all about racetracks, race cars, and even got to meet some professional race car drivers! <laughs> Sarah Fisher, James Hinchcliffe, and the winner of the 100th running of the Indy 500, Alex Rossi! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great! B L I P P I Flippy! Good job! Well, I'll see you soon! <laughs> hey! Look at where I'm at now! Right now, I'm at Cares in Burien, Washington! Yeah! See? A R E S. Cares. Yeah. Cares is an animal shelter. Yeah, this is where the animals live until maybe someone like you comes down to then adopt the pet. These pets need a new home. Let's see what pets are inside. Do you see this dog? Yeah, this is a really small dog. It's kind of like a baby dog. <laughs> yeah, really small dogs like this. These are called puppies. <laughs> Here you go. Ooh, this is Sapphire. Oh, she's such a cute kitty. Hey, Sapphire. How are you? Oh, she's so soft. This is Cuddles. <laughs> she loves to cuddle. Oh, she's so soft. And she loves to play. That was so much fun spending some time at my local animal shelter. Well, hey, even if you can't adopt a pet, you can still come down and volunteer your time. Yeah, you can come on down and pet the pets. Maybe they'll even let you walk a pooch <laughs> or play with a cat in the little cat room. <laughs> well, that was so much fun. Right now, I'm at Pause and Relax in Burien, Washington. Yeah, it's a daycare. Ooh, I know, does that feel good? <laughs> yeah, a daycare that has a playground. You know, a playground that you get to play at? Yeah, this is a doggy playground, and Lino and I are playing here. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we let Lino run around? Whoa, and playgrounds are a lot more fun when there's a lot of friends. <laughs> Let's bring on some doggy friends. <laughs> oh, look at how many friends Lino has. Okay, now it's time for Lino's bath and haircut. Oh, I bet he's gonna feel so clean and so fresh after this. <laughs> All right, let's take him inside. Here we go, Lino.
Oh, check it out. Look at this pink platform. Yeah, this is what all the pooches stand on. And this is a nice purple belly strap right here. And then a neck strap. Yeah, this is called a groomer's helper. So then it makes sure that the pooch doesn't fall off the table while it's getting groomed. Hey, come check this out. Whoa, see this toolbox? There's a lot of things that the groomers use inside this toolbox. Wow, that is so cool. All right, first we have some shampoo. This is plum flavored shampoo. <laughs> oh, and it looks like we have some clippers up here. Wow. <laughs> That's what you put on the dog's hair and then it trims it. Ooh. This files down the nails of the dog. Let's turn it on. Whoa! <laughs> That's silly. Okay. Wow. Yeah, these, yeah, these are like scissors. Yeah, but they're actually called shears. Wow. A dog's hair is a lot more fine than a human's hair. And these scissors can really cut a dog's hair really good. So let's put these on the platform. Let's put the, the red colored ones. Okay, gotta be really careful if you use these shears. Perfect. <laughs> okay, what else do we need to cut Lino's hair? Hmm, let's see. Oh, <laughs> hey, do you want a haircut? <laughs> hey, do you want a haircut? <laughs> Looks like their hair's already cut. Oh, look at this. Wow, a comb. Yeah, just like how you and I comb our hair and brush our hair. Dogs need that too. Wow. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> okay, let's put this on the platform. Okay, next to the pair of shears. All right, what else is over here? Wow, looks like we have some sanitation spray, so then when Lino's done, he sanitize everything, so then the next dog can get its hair cut. Whoa, sugar cookies? I love sugar cookies. This is sugar cookie dog perfume. <laughs> this definitely should go over there. Check this out, another drawer. Wow, there is a lot of cool things in this. Look at that. That kind of looks like a brush. But it doesn't look like a normal brush or a comb. This is called a slicker brush. <laughs> All right, we'll put that over there as well. Whoa, this is gonna be so much fun. Let's see. Remember from earlier these clippers up here? Yeah, see this? These are clipper attachments. You put them on the top, and then that is what determines the length of hair. See that? Compared to that. That one's way shorter. <laughs> okay, let's bring this and a green attachment. Whoa. <laughs> All right. I think we have everything we need <laughs> to cut Lino's hair. All right, so we have clippers, shears, scissors, <laughs> a comb, some dog perfume, <laughs> and a slicker brush. There's a lot more things in there that we'll probably use, but for now, this is good. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> They took off so much hair. Look, <laughs> whoa, this is a bunch of Lino's hair. <laughs> wow, it's so soft. Ah, yeah, I could make a pillow out of this. Woo, <laughs> wow, <laughs> hey. <laughs> you like Lino's hair? Does it smell good? <laughs> it's so silly.
Whoa, look, Lino's all done. <laughs> How does he look? Look at his big fluffy ears. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> wow. Woo, and look at his spooky bandana. <laughs> oh, there's some pumpkins on it. Ooh, and it looks like a llama with a cape. <laughs> wow, all right, Lino, we can go home now. <laughs> Alright! <laughs> bye, bye bye! Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I! Blippi! Good job! Alright! <laughs> bye bye! Blippi, and today I'm at Moxie in Santa Barbara, California. Yeah, it's a really cool children's museum of exploration and innovation. So today you and I are gonna learn a lot about science. Yeah, maybe some stuff like hearing. Yeah, sound. Whoa, and speed. Whoa, slow, fast. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun, come on. <laughs> What are you doing? Come on! Come here! <laughs> Come on! Hello! Whoa! Check it out! This is a massive guitar! Whoa! Cool! Yeah! Have you ever seen someone play a guitar before? Yeah! Yeah! Guitars are so cool! Ooh, and when you strum the strings, it makes a noise. Hey, let's listen! All right. Here we go. Tighten this up. <laughs> Little out of tune, but it still sounds really cool. All right, now let me move this up. And when I move it up, it'll tighten the strings. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Which effectively makes it tighter and shorter. And now, listen to how it sounds. Whoa, higher pitched. Oh, cool, let's keep exploring. Whoa, what's this? Whoa, another guitar right here. Oh, and more strings. Pretty low, but watch this. I'll put my foot right here to tighten it out. Now listen. Whoa, that sounds a lot better. And watch this. Whoa, I spin this drum and check out the strings. You can actually see the wavelengths, basically. Did you see that? Check it out a little closer. Whoa, <laughs> cool. Who are you? Hi, I'm Simon. Oh, nice to meet you, Simon. I'm Blippi. What are you doing here? Well, this is our sound machine. Sound machine doesn't look like a sound machine. It looks like a table. Well, I got these special little squares with some shapes on them that make some sound for you. Whoa, that sounds like a guitar. I just played the guitar over there. I wonder what this does. Whoa, every single shape has a different instrument. And now Simon and I just made a really cool song. All right, let's see. Whoa, I think we should have a dance party. Are you up for it? Sure. Come on, let's go. is the innovation workshop. Innovation means when you take something old and you make it new or you make it way better. This is gonna be so much fun. I wonder what we're gonna make. Let's go. Cool, the innovation workshop. Wow, look at this place. This is fun. Whoa, it looks like a car. Whoa, cool. Oh, look right here. Looks like some compact Discs, CDs, yeah. Back in the old days, people used to use these to play music and 
Movies? <laughs> All right. Ooh, some bubble wrap. Listen to this. <laughs> Whoa, what else do we have here? Ooh, rubber bands. I like rubber bands. <laughs> Hope we get to make a craft with some rubber bands. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, there's someone right over there. Oh, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Kevin. Oh, nice to meet you, Kevin. I'm Blippi. What do you do here? Well, I build stuff in the innovation workshop. Oh, how cool. Well, I'm very excited. What are we gonna build today? Today, we're building a rubber band powered car. Whoa, cool. Can I check it out? Definitely. Whoa, a rubber band powered car. Yeah, rubber bands in a car. So this gets propelled by the power of a rubber band? Exactly. Whoa, cool, how do you do it? So, uh, do you wanna see it go first? Oh yeah, yeah let's, <laughs> let's do, do that. All right, so first you pull the rubber band back. Okay. And then I'm gonna twist the wheel three times, ready? Yep, one, one two, two three. three. And then we let it go. Whoa, that was really cool. Pretty cool, right? All right, I am very excited, let's do this. First step is to build the body of our cars. Okay. We're gonna make a little triangle out of these wooden sticks. Okay. By putting a brass brad through the hole. Okay, there we go, make a triangle. Look at that, looks like a triangle. Perfect, and then <laughs> we have a body of our car like this one. Okay, that makes sense. Now, we've gotta make something to hold our wheels. The wheels are held by an axle. Oh yeah, just like normal cars and trucks on the road, they have piece of metal that goes from one wheel to the other to hold them to the body of the car. Exactly, cool. so we're gonna use a straw to hold our axle to the body of our car. Oh, cool. So we've got some straws and then a wooden stick. Okay. And we're gonna use hot glue to attach it now. Oh, okay, all right. So before we use hot glue, we gotta put on our heat resistant gloves so we don't hurt our fingers. Okay, wow. Safety first. <laughs> hot glue is definitely something that only grown-ups should use because this is very, very hot. And that's why we're wearing this, these gloves. Yeah, even grown-ups have to be careful. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So now we're gonna put our wheels on the back here. Okay. So let's put the big wheels on the back so it goes really fast. Oh, yeah. Stick it through the hole there. Okay, so you put a piece of wood between these? Right. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Wow. Nice. <laughs> All right. Here. Here's one wheel and tire. There we go. And then, oh, yours looks really good. Looks like half a car. Yeah, it does. Whoa, cool. Wow. And same thing. <laughs> All right. The front, we're gonna put the axle through. Okay. Get it through. And for the front, we've got little wheels to put on. Okay. That makes sense. Big wheels in the back for more traction, and then little wheels in the front for great steering. <laughs> Whoa, now it definitely looks like a car. Look at this. <laughs> so we're just missing the last piece, which is our rubber band to make it go. Oh, all right. So to wrap the rubber band around, we need a little piece of wood on our back axle. All right. That looks good. Now, are we ready? We're ready to add our rubber band. All right. This has to dry for a little bit, so when we wait for that to dry, we'll add our rubber bands. All right, let's wait for it to dry. <laughs> All right, I think it's about dry, right? Yep, mine's dry. Perfect, all right. Well, how do we do the rubber band? Let's add our rubber band. We're gonna attach it to the front of our car. Okay. By putting it around that brass brad, the shiny thing. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Is yours attached like that? Yep, it Great. is. And now we do that last step where we wrap it around the back. Okay, and I do remember three rotations. That's right. Okay, ready? One, One. Oh. <laughs> two, three. All right, mine is ready. Are you ready to race? I'm ready to race. All right. Oh. Almost. <laughs> ready? And on your marks. Uh-oh. <laughs> Get set, go. go. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. All right, here I go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, wow. Well, sometimes we have to embrace our failure. Exactly. It didn't work today. <laughs> yeah, so maybe 
if we sit here for a while and then we figure out what went wrong, then we can improve on it. And then they will go super fast like this one. Let's try that one again. Let's that try one more. again. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this one. Wow, this is still a rubber band powered car? That's still a rubber band powered car. It works the same way. All right, I'll try this one. Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go! Whoa, you those won. worked? Good job. <laughs> nice well, race. thank you so much for teaching us how to make a rubber band powered car. <laughs> Thanks for building with me. All right, I'm gonna keep exploring. Okay. So, see you later. Have fun. Bye-bye. <laughs>
it then pushes air out here. And dependent on the height of the tubes, it makes different sounds. All right, let's hear it again. <laughs> Great idea! Let's hit that bass line and let's make some music with these tubes! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Wasn't that so much fun? Yeah! I love science! It was so much fun learning about sounds with you! Did you hear that? Yeah! And I sure do love dancing! Woo! Yeah! You got some pretty great dance skills yourself! Oh, and you can't forget about the cars! Yeah! Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Will you spell my name with me? Yeah! B-L-I-P-P-I! Flippy. Good job. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Hey, it's me, Flippy. And today we're here in London, England. <laughs> and I am so excited because you and I get to go on a red bus tour. Yeah, we're going to get to sightsee and explore different parts of London. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Check it out! It's a London bus! <laughs> I am so excited to go on a bus tour today. But before we go on a bus tour, we need to learn more about the bus. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Hi, my name's Ian. I'm the bus driver. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Ian. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Whoa, will you show us around the bus? I certainly can. Whoa, okay. Let's take a look. Wow! Look at this bus! It's so big! <laughs> Wow! And do you know what color the London bus is? Hmm, yeah, it's the color red. Wow! <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. It has really big wheels and tires. Whoa, they're so big <laughs> and powerful. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. It looks like the back of the bus has a trunk. <laughs> Whoa, what's in the trunk? Uh, Luggage? This is a bonnet. Oh, Under oh. the bonnet in England, it's the engine. Whoa, a bonnet. In England, a car or a bus has a bonnet. And in the bonnet is the engine. Whoa, that's so interesting. In America, it's called a hood. Yeah, in the hood, under the hood, <laughs> there's the engine. But the hood in America sometimes is in the front. But with this London bus, it's in the back. <laughs> Whoa, can we see the engine? We can. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. It's the London bus engine. Yeah. Wow. It's so big yeah. and looks complicated and it's really warm. Whoa. <laughs> uh, <yeah>. Whoa, <laughs> time to close the bonnet. <laughs> Whoa. Ian, are those windows up at the top? Yep, because it's a double-decker bus. There's two floors. A double-decker bus? Two floors? Whoa, that's just like a building or a house. Whew. Ian, can we go inside? Yes, we can. Come this way. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I am so excited to go on the double-deck. <laughs> the double-decker bus. <laughs> Step aboard. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're inside the London bus. <laughs> this is awesome. Whoa. <laughs> and look, the ceilings are so low. Oh, my head can touch it. <laughs> and why are the ceilings so low? The ceilings are so low to keep the height of the bus down so you can get under bridges. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah, because there's two decks. You don't want to make the bus too tall. <laughs> oh, and is it OK if I sit behind the wheel? Yes, you can sit in the cab. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> well, and did you call this the cab? The cab, yes. Whoa! The cab, that is awesome! Hey, 
do you know another vehicle that also has a cab? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's an excavator. That's where you control all the, the scoop and the bucket and the boom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this cab is really cool. Well, we have the steering wheel. And, and what's this? This is your gear stick to change gear. Whoa. <laughs> and are these also gear sticks? That's part of it. This is so you have to pull that down to put it into reverse so you don't accidentally put it in. Whoa. <laughs> you don't want to go backwards <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> Whoa. And uh, where do you put the key? Uh, there's no key start on this bump. Oh. So do you just press this button? Uh, yeah, you push the start button. Whoa. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, look. And this lever, is that the... That's a handbrake. Handbrake? <laughs> yeah. There's a button for the doors. Ooh. And I think I know what this button does. <laughs> Is it okay if I press it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Ian, is it okay if I explore more of the bus? Yeah, of course you can. Give me a shout when you're ready. Okay. <laughs> wow, this London bus is awesome. Whoa, and look at the seats. They're a reddish brown. Yeah, burgundy. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Whoa! And look at the windows! Yeah! You remember? Windows are really big! So you can see all the sights of London! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! I bet we can get an even better view on the upper deck! <laughs> Let's go up the stairs! Come on! Whoa! Check it out! We're on the upper deck of the London bus. Whoa. You can see everything from up here. <laughs> Whoa. 360 degrees. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I'm a little bit dizzy now. <laughs> I'm so excited to go on the London bus tour. Yeah. Whoa. You see this? Binoculars. <laughs> Hello. I can see everything with these. <laughs> hey! And a sightseeing guide and a map. <laughs> wow, I think we're all ready to go, Ian. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that building! It's so big! <laughs> wow! It's called the Shard, and it's the tallest building in England. <laughs> yeah! It's so tall! And it's made up of triangles. It's not like a normal tall building or skyscraper that's made up of rectangles or squares. Mm -mm. It has really big triangles. <laughs> Hello, Shard. <laughs> Hello. Hey, we're here on Paul Mall. Whoa. <laughs> this is a road that is very famous. Yeah, and I was looking with my binoculars and I saw a palace. <laughs> we definitely need to get closer to this palace. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> mm. Whoa. Whoa. Here we go. Whoa. I'm having so much fun on the London bus tour. And look at where I'm at. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. It's Buckingham Palace. This is where Queen Elizabeth II lives. Whoa. <laughs> it's so beautiful. And do you see the fence? Yeah. The fence is the color black and the color gold. Whoa, it's so pretty. Hey, look, there's a flag flying at the top. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> Did you know there are two kinds of flags that can be flown there? Yeah, there's a Union Jack, which means the queen is not home. And there's a Royal Standard, which means the queen is home. <laughs> wow. Oh, and do you see these people? Yeah, on the other side, there are royal guards. <laughs> they are so cool and have really big fuzzy hats. <laughs> wow, this is so awesome. I want to get a better view. Come on. Whoa, this has been so much fun here in Buckingham Palace. Do you hear something? Clip, clop, clip, clop. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like horses. Hmm. Whoa. Check it out! There are horses! Whoa! And not any kind of horse. They look like they're very royal. <laughs> Hello! Yeah! Look at that! 
Whoa! They're all in red and they have golden helmets. This is so cool. Yeah, it looks like we're here for the changing of the guards. Whoa! <laughs> Hello, horses. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was so cool seeing all of those horses. <laughs> yeah, they were so royal, red and gold. It was beautiful. <laughs> this is so much fun watching the changing of the guards. Do you hear something? Yeah, it sounds like music. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder who's playing the music. Whoa, check it out. It's a marching band. Yeah. Marching bands have so many instruments and play really loud music. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> hey, why don't you and I march along to the marching band? all dressed like a royal guard. Yeah. Do you see? They're wearing robes, or jackets, coats, <laughs> that are gray. Yeah. They're wearing gray coats, and they have fuzzy black hats. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was so nice listening to beautiful music. <laughs> wow, we've had so many amazing things we got to see. I wonder what we'll see next. <laughs> Wow, there are so many amazing things to see around Buckingham Palace. Do you see what's behind me? It's Canada Gate on the edge of Green Park. Whoa, and do you hear that? It sounds like another band is coming. Let's get a better view. <laughs> Whoa, that was awesome. We listened to the first band and now the second band is playing a new song. And this song feels majestic. <laughs> so majestic, it makes me want to dance. Whoa. It looks like they're on the other side. We'll be coming around soon. <laughs> Keep your eyes and your ears open. Whoa, the band is leaving. Look at them. Hello. Whoa. They look so cool with their instruments and their coats. Wow, look at them marching away. <laughs> this was so much fun learning about the changing of the guards. They look so cool. Whoa. And they're marching so well together. Look at them march. <laughs> oh. And there's police officers on horses. <laughs> oh. Wow, that was amazing. The guards are marching away. Bye-bye. <laughs> and I think it's about time we march away. Back to the bus. Come on. Whoa, it's St. Paul's Cathedral. Whoa, so beautiful. Yeah, it has a really beautiful architecture. Yeah, beautiful architecture. Just a fancy way of saying really pretty designs. Someone did a good job building this building. Yeah, look, it's covered in all kinds of statues and shapes. Yeah, look, it has arches, triangles, whoa, rectangles, squares. And do you see those columns? Yeah, those columns are cylinders. <laughs> whoa, do you know the shape of the top of the building? Yeah, that's called a dome. And on the top of the dome, covered in gold. Ooh, gold, so fancy. <laughs> wow. It is such a beautiful building. It's so old. Hey, maybe we can learn more about architecture and other really cool designs by seeing some other buildings. <laughs> Ooh. Well, look, it's Falgar Square. And look, it's Nelson's Column. <laughs> it's 169 feet tall. And Nelson at the top. Hello, Nelson. He is 16 feet tall. Whoa, he's so big. <laughs> Whoa, look, there's lions. Yeah, four lions right around him. <laughs> 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 
Whoa, look! It's a construction vehicle! Hello! Whoa! <laughs> wow! That was awesome! <laughs> Whoa! Look at it! We're about to cross Tower Bridge! Yeah! Whoa! It's a really old and really long bridge! Yeah! It's 800 feet long! And it's called Tower Bridge because, look! <laughs> there's a tower in the middle! Wow! Yeah! A bridge like Tower Bridge is a bascule bridge! <laughs> yeah! That means that the bridge can open up! Whoa! It can open up and that lets really big boats float under it <laughs> so that the mast or other parts of the boat don't get hurt. Mm -mm. <laughs> wow! Look at it! This is amazing! <laughs> this bridge is really cool! It's made out of stone and metal. Oh well, look! And it's blue and white. Wow! And it has some red on it too. <laughs> bye bye Tower Bridge! Bye bye! <laughs> Whoa! I'm having so much fun on the Red Bus Tour! Yeah! We're seeing so many different things here in England! <laughs> Whoa! But all this touring is making me really hungry! Hey, why don't you and I try some food from here? <laughs> okay, we need to stop and go try some yummy, delicious food! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! We've seen so many amazing places on the bus tour! But I'm getting a little bit chilly! <laughs> Let's go inside to get warm and maybe get a bite to eat. Come on! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it's so cozy in here. <laughs> it was a little chilly outside, so it's always nice to go inside to get warm. Wow! Look, there's a fireplace. <laughs> Hello! Oh, it's so nice being here in London, but I'm getting a little bit hungry. <laughs> Hello there! Oh, hi! What's your name? My name is Simon. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Simon. I'm Flippy! <laughs> would you like to have a sit and try some traditional food? Whoa! I would love to! Thank All right. you! <laughs> wow! I can't believe it! I'm here in London and I'm gonna try some traditional British food! Whoa! What's this, Simon? This is a fish and chips served with mushy peas and tartar sauce. Whoa. Fish and chips? <laughs> that sounds so delicious! Hmm. But I don't see any potato chips! Oh, I just see french fries! Here in England, we call them chips, and you're feeling adventurous? Try with vinegar! Whoa! <laughs> that sounds so tasty! Thanks, Simon! Enjoy! Wow! Huh, that's so interesting! In the United States, we call french fries french fries! But here in the UK, they call them chips! Oh, yeah, and look, they're a little bit thicker than a french fry you might find in America. <laughs> okay, time to dig in. <laughs> hmm, where to start? Hmm, I think we should listen to Simon and get some vinegar. <laughs> yeah, we'll take some vinegar <laughs> and pour it over the food. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> And it looks like there's a lemon. <laughs> we should try some of the lemon too. Whoa! <laughs> that was fun. Time to dig in. Hmm. Whoa! Oh, and I almost forgot. We need to use some of the tartar sauce. Yeah. Okay. Dip a little in. Whoa! <laughs> that is so tasty! <laughs> I think I'm gonna take another bite! Oh, oh wait, we forgot about the chips! Hmm. Ooh! <laughs> I've eaten french fries before, but I've never had a chip from London! Hmm. That is so delicious! Yeah, it's a chip with vinegar, but I think we can try it with the mushy peas. Yeah, see, it's peas, but they've been mashed. Kind of like mashed potatoes, <laughs> but peas. Mm. Mm. Whoa, that was so tasty. Yeah, 
these are vegetables, and these vegetables are so sweet and tasty. <laughs> oh. Hey, would you mm. like to try something else? Mm -hmm. mm. The fish and chips were delicious. Yeah. Glad you enjoyed. <laughs> Thank you. There Whoa. you are. Look at this. It's another traditional British dish. There are potatoes and cabbage. Hmm. Simon, what's this? This is a chicken, ham, and leek pie. Whoa! Thanks. Enjoy. <laughs> it's a pie, but this pie has chicken in it. Yeah. It's not a sweet pie. It's a savory pie. <laughs> yeah. Savory means it's not sweet. It might be a little salty. You can eat it for your meal. <laughs> Whoa! And do you see this? Gravy! <laughs> it's time for a gravy party! Woo! Here we go! Whoa! <laughs> Here we go! Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> that looks so tasty! <laughs> I'm gonna eat this with a fork and a knife. But make sure you have a grown up help you with the knife. <laughs> you don't want to use a knife by yourself. <laughs> okay, here we go. We'll try some potatoes. Yeah, these are mashed potatoes, but in London, they're just called mash. <laughs> mm. Oh, that is so good, and the gravy is so tasty. Hmm, maybe we should try some cabbage. Yeah, cabbage is really good for you because it's green. Did you know that? Some foods are green. Yeah, a lot of times they're vegetables and really healthy. <laughs> Here we go. Yum! <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> and now the main event, the pie. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Time to break it open. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. This looks like a really big bite. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Whoa, that is so delicious. It's so salty and it's so tasty. Yeah, it has a flaky crust like a pastry, but it has a salty and amazing flavor on the inside. <laughs> Whoa. I really like sweet pies, and I really like British pies. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna take another bite. <laughs> Do you still have room for desserts? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Whoa, Simon, these have been so tasty. Thank oh, you. <laughs> you're welcome. There you are. Simon, what are these desserts? So over here, you've got a sticky toffee pudding. Whoa. And <laughs> just in here, uh, apple and blackberry crumble. Wow, that sounds delicious. And <laughs> Thanks. Then, wow, look at it. Yeah, you see this? This is called sticky toffee pudding. Wait a minute, this doesn't look like pudding. It looks more like maybe a muffin or a cake. Yeah, that's because in London, in the England, yeah, they call pudding mm, something else. But they call this, yeah, pudding. It kind of looks like a cake. It looks so delicious. And it looks like it has a caramel sauce too. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, time to try the desserts. <laughs> gonna need a fork. And mm, I'm gonna try it with a spoon. Okay, here we go. <laughs> First, maybe just the spoon. <laughs> Whoa. And I want a little bit of ice cream. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow, that's so tasty. The flavor is so interesting. Yeah, it tastes like toffee and it tastes like caramel and it's nice and warm. <laughs> but it's so tasty with cold ice cream. <laughs> Ooh, it's time to try the next dessert. This one is really fruity, and it's colorful. Oh. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> so yummy looking. Do you know what color that is? Yeah, it's the color red. And the crumble on top, it looks kind of like a yellowish, maybe khaki color. 
Ok? Tchou tchou! Uh. Wow! That is so delicious! Hmm, that is not what I expected it to taste like. Yeah, it's really sweet, but it's another flavor. It's sweet and sour! <laughs> yeah, it's really tart! Ooh, <laughs> it's so good, I definitely need another bite of this. Would you like a tea to finish your meal? Whoa, tea? Yeah! <laughs> wow! Normally, I would be finished with my meal, but tea is a great way to end it. <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome. Whoa! <laughs> Thanks, Simon. This is so tasty. <laughs> wow! Tea is really, really tasty. And it's something really fun to do when you're in England. Yeah! Look, we have a teacup and a little spoon and a teapot. Ooh, time to pour some tea. Whoa, whoa, look at it go! <laughs> wow, this tea looks so beautiful. You see, it has such a pretty color, and I bet it's really tasty. But be careful, it's also really hot. Oh, <laughs> so silly, I forgot something. When you're in England, they don't just, just drink tea. Sometimes it's very good and tasty add a little milk. So here we go. And once you add your milk or whatever else you want to put in your tea, you can stir it up. <laughs> ah, so tasty! <laughs> I drank all the tea. <laughs> I guess I'll have to pour some more. <laughs> wow, it is so much fun trying new foods and new drinks and being able to explore London. <laughs> wow, that was so awesome. We tried so many amazing and delicious foods. Wow, let's go to the next place. Whoa, check it out. That building looks just like a walkie-talkie. <laughs> That's funny, because it's called the walkie-talkie. Hello. <laughs> Look at where we are. Downing Street. Yeah. And this is a very important place, because 10 Downing Street is where the Prime Minister lives. Whoa. Yeah. See? Right behind that black gate. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> the Prime Minister is a very important person in England. Yeah very important to the government. The Prime Minister in England is kind of like the President in America. Whoa! <laughs> this is so cool. It's almost like we're outside the English White House. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Look at what it is! The British Museum! Whoa! This place is amazing! Yeah, look! The outside is so beautiful with big columns. Yeah, columns? Do you know what shape a column is? It's a cylinder. <laughs> and inside is even cooler. Yeah, inside the British Museum, there are 8 million objects. Whoa! <laughs> That's a lot of objects. Ooh, I can't wait to go inside and see what there is. Hmm. <laughs> well, maybe another time. We're too busy sightseeing on the bus tour. <laughs> I can't wait to go somewhere else. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. Piccadilly Circus! <laughs> yeah! But this isn't a circus. <laughs> no! There's no animals or clowns here. No! It's called Piccadilly Circus because it's a roundabout. Yeah! That means it's a big circle. <laughs> big circle to drive around. So they call it Piccadilly Circus. Circus! Circle! <laughs> Whoa! Bye bye! Bye bye, Piccadilly Circus! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! It's a giant Ferris wheel! <laughs> Whoa! It's so big! <laughs> it's fun looking through my binoculars, but let's go up and stop and take a closer look! <laughs> Come on! Whoa! Check it out! It's the giant Ferris wheel! This Ferris wheel is called the London Eye! <laughs> yeah! It's so big! Whoa! <laughs> well, actually, this Ferris wheel isn't a Ferris wheel, it's an observation wheel. 
Whoa! <laughs> yeah! An observation wheel helps you observe things, so you can observe all of London. <laughs> Did you know that observe is just another word for looking? Woo! <laughs> and I love looking around London. <laughs> Whoa! And look, there are different places for you to sit. And it moves really slowly in a circle. <laughs> yeah! And it gives you time to see everything. Did you know that there are 32 compartments for you to sit? Yeah, 32 for the 32 boroughs in London. Did you know boroughs is just another name for neighborhood? There are 32 neighborhoods and 32 compartments. I think we should count them all. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> Maybe it's too many to count right now. <laughs> wow. And do you notice anything else? Whoa. There are so many shapes. Yeah. The London Eye is a giant circle. <laughs> but if you look at the face, it's a triangle. One, two, three sides. <laughs> wow. The London Eye is so amazing, but we better get back on the bus and go see some other sights. Come on. Whoa! Look at what's behind me! It's Hyde Park! <laughs> yeah! Do you see all the trees? Yeah! Did you know that there are over 4,000 trees there? <laughs> That's a lot of trees! It's so green! But right now it doesn't look very green. No! That's because of the seasons! Yeah! The leaves are green during the year, but during fall, they start to change colors. Then they turn brown. Whoa! And then they fall off the tree during winter. <laughs> yeah, and you can see all the trees. Yeah, the leaves are turning brown, getting ready to fall off for winter. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. It looks like a castle. Yeah, it's made of stones, it has a moat. Whoa, it looks so historic. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> It's so cool being here in England. Yeah, everything is so old and looks so cool. Oh, let's stop and take a closer look. <laughs> wow, it's been so much fun riding around on a bus with you. But I wanted to hop off, to get a closer look at this castle. Yeah, it looks just like a castle and it's called the Tower of London. Yeah, and it's a fortress, a really big fortress. <laughs> Hmm. And do you notice anything? Hmm, <laughs> yeah. Do you see those animals? Do you know what kind of animal that is? <laughs> yeah, they're lions. Hey, let's act like lions. <laughs> I am so excited to go inside the Tower of London and explore. And keep your eyes open looking for any other animals we might find. <laughs> Whoa! Come on! Let's go explore! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Whoa! Look at this place! It's so big! <laughs> yeah! And the towers are so tall! <laughs> Look at this! Yeah! The walls inside the Tower of London are really tall. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. <laughs> it looks like someone was carrying some treasure. Ooh. Whoa, look, <laughs> coins. Hmm. But these coins aren't gold, <laughs> they're brown. <laughs> Look, that's so interesting. This table has coins, bags of coins, and bowls of coins. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Do you see all the coins? Yeah, we had the carts with chests of coins. We had the big chests filled with coins and a table covered in coins. Yeah. This area is even called Mint Street. 
And that's not because this place tastes like peppermint. <laughs> no! No, because this is where they made coins. Yeah, that's what you say. They minted the coins. Or they made the coins. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! This place is amazing! It's so big and so old! <laughs> hey, do you see any other animals around? Hmm. There's an animal behind me! <laughs> Whoa, there is! It's a polar bear! Whoa! Did you know that a polar bear, a real life polar bear, used to live here? <laughs> yeah, he would swim around in the moat. <laughs> and eat lots of yummy fish. <laughs> hey, we can be polar bears, but we have to pretend like it's really cold outside. <laughs> That's pretty silly. <laughs> hey, I bet we can find even more animals. Come on. Whoa, I did it. <laughs> I found another animal. <laughs> Do you know what kind of animal that is? Yeah, it's an elephant. And it has one, two tusks. <laughs> yeah. Woo. And it has a really big trunk. <laughs> Woo. 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 <laughs> hey, will you act like an elephant with me? Okay. Take your arm and make it an elephant's trunk. This place is so much fun! Whoa! We've seen so many animals. Do you see any others? <laughs> yeah! Wow! Do you see at the top of the stairs there? There are some ravens! Whoa! Do you know what sound a raven makes? <laughs> yeah! They caw! And they're the color black! Did you hear that? Yeah! That's a raven cawing. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, and all the animals we've seen so far were just pieces of artwork. <laughs> but these ravens are real. Whoa. Hello, ravens. Caw, 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 caw. Whoa, look at where we are. <laughs> we're in a bedroom. <laughs> We've had so much fun exploring and seeing all kinds of animals. But did you know that people used to live in castles? Yeah, all kinds of people. <laughs> and guess what kind of person lived in this bedroom? <laughs> the king. We're inside the king's bedroom. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, and this bedroom was from a really long time ago. <laughs> it's a little different from a bedroom you might have today. Well, look at this. Do you see what this is? Yeah, they're candles. Back then, they didn't have lights or electricity. <laughs> you couldn't flip a switch. No, they had candles. <laughs> and that's why it's a little bit dark and a little bit spooky in here. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. It's the king's bed. <laughs> it's so fancy. Look, it has curtains and it even has a roof what a roof on a bed <laughs> it looks really cozy though yeah because it would be really cold in here <laughs> whoa speaking of cozy look at this fireplace whoa <laughs> it's so big yeah a bedroom like this could get really cold so cold that a polar bear lives outside <laughs> so you needed a fireplace like this Keep you nice and warm. <laughs> and when you were done being warm, you could go to work and have a very nice kingly desk <laughs> to write notes to very important people. <laughs> wow, this place is so cool, but we better get back to the bus. <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. It's Royal Albert Hall. <laughs> Whoa. This is a really big hall where they perform music. Yeah, they have a massive organ inside. Yeah, 
An organ is a type of instrument. <laughs> it's really big and really heavy. Yeah, it's kind of like a piano, but it has pipes that play the sounds. Wow, <laughs> it is so cool. Yeah, and this organ in Royal Albert Hall weighs 165 tons. Whoa, and has 9,999 pipes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> you can play a lot of music with those pipes. Yeah, you can come to London and you can listen to beautiful music by going to see an orchestra. Have you ever seen someone play music before? Whoa, that's so cool. Maybe you saw a piano <laughs> or a clarinet or maybe a violin. <laughs> music is so fun. <laughs> And I'm having so much fun exploring and looking at all these amazing buildings. <laughs> Whoa, look at what it is. It's Westminster Abbey. Wow, it's so beautiful. This building is really important because this is where kings and queens were crowned. <laughs> yeah, all the way since 1066. Whoa, <laughs> it's so old. And so, royal! <laughs> yeah, this building also has really beautiful architecture. Ooh, <laughs> that's a big word, architecture. That's another word for a really pretty design. Yeah, whoever designed and built this building did a great job. <laughs> Do you see? There's so many shapes. Look, in the center, there's a triangle. Whoa! And on the sides, there are one, two, circles. And the towers are rectangles. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is pretty cool. We want to see if we can find some awesome buildings to explore here in London. Let's get back on the bus. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. I'm having so much fun on this bus tour, I think I'm ready to sing a song. Hmm, well, what song should we sing? Well, we're on a bus. We're driving around really fast. I know, let's sing The Wheels on the Bus. <laughs> yeah. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, through. Driver of the bus says sit up top, sit up top, sit up top. The driver of the bus says sit up top on the London bus. What can we see? A big town, a big town, a big town. What can we see? A big town atop the London bus. At Buckingham Palace we see the guard. See the guard, see the guard At Buckingham Palace we see the guard In London town The double-decker bus drives near and far Near and far, near and far The double-decker bus drives near and far Through London town From the top of the bus see the London Eye London Eye, London Eye from the top of the bus, see the London Eye In London town The wheels on the bus go round and round Round and round, round and round The wheels on the bus go round and round Through London town Bye bye London, I'll be back soon Awesome! I had so much fun today going on a London bus tour. Saw so many amazing sights and got to explore an amazing city, <laughs> London. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Okay, B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. 
it's me, Flippy. And today, we're here in Santa Ana, California. And I am so excited because you and I get to check out a Smash My Trash Truck <laughs> and learn about what happens after you throw away your garbage. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, check it out. It's so big. <laughs> this is a Smash My Trash Truck and it looks very familiar. Hmm, it has a cab and a boom. It looks just like an excavator, <laughs> but it's a little different. An excavator is yellow. But this Smash My Trash Truck is the color red. <laughs> and this truck doesn't dig dirt like an excavator. <laughs> It smashes trash! <laughs> Ooh, let's get a closer look. <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> hey, this is the cab. Yeah, that's where the operator sits. And look, that's Operator Max. <laughs> yeah, he has all the controls to control the boom. <laughs> and he can see everything that's happening so he can keep people safe. <laughs> Whoa! And look at this, it's so big. <laughs> yeah, this is a really big and important part of the Smash My Trash Truck. It's the smashing drum. <laughs> Not that kind of drum, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> no, this drum helps to smash the trash. Yeah, it's really big and really heavy and chew up trash, or wood or metal. <laughs> Whoa! Basically, anything but not concrete. <laughs> Whoa, and do you see this? Yeah, look. The smashing drum has really big teeth. <laughs> yeah, really big teeth to get into all that trash. <laughs> Whoa! It's so huge and it's so heavy. To move this truck around, you need really big wheels and tires. <laughs> Whoa, they're so big. They're as big as me. <laughs> Ooh, hey, look. This truck, it doesn't dig dirt and it doesn't just drive around. Because it has to smash trash, we need the trash. And we have it right here. <laughs> Whoa, this, it's kind of like a garbage can, but this, it's not a garbage can. It's a 40 foot hauling bin. <laughs> Whoa, that is so big. Yeah, it's so big that it can hold up to 10 tons of trash. Whoa, <laughs> and they use these to take the trash from a garbage can to the bin and to the bin to a landfill. Yeah, or a dump. <laughs> but when we're smashing the trash inside the hauling bin, we need to use wheel chucks. <laughs> Whoa, see? Yeah, these bins can be moved around, but when we're smashing it, the wheel chucks keep it in place so it doesn't shake or move when we're smashing the trash. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, this is so awesome. <laughs> it's so big. Hmm, it would be really cool and fun to see some trash get smashed. Oh, look, <laughs> there's a person. Let's go say hello. Come on. <laughs> What's your name? Hi, I'm Steve. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Steve. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> is this your truck? Yes, it is. Whoa! <laughs> well, we've had a lot of fun learning all about it. But I have a question. Why do you want to smash your trash? Well, it's simple. It's a couple of reasons. One, let's talk about the environment for a second. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, this trash has to go somewhere, correct? Yeah, like a landfill or a dump? Exactly. Oh. So what this truck does, it comes down, it's going to smash it, it's going to tear it, it's going to rip it, and it's going to compact it so Whoa. it doesn't take up so much space in the landfills. Oh, did you hear that? By smashing the trash, it makes the trash smaller. So it doesn't take up as much room, and you can put more trash in the landfill, but keep it nice and clean. <laughs> Absolutely. Also, what we do by smashing it down, now we're able to fill this bin a second and third time, so we eliminate the trucks on the roads that haul the trash away. Whoa! No trucks on the road means it's better for the environment. And you can refill this bin two times? Three times? Whoa, <laughs> that's a lot of trash. 
And most important, we save the customer money so they don't have to haul away as frequently. <laughs> oh, that's important too. <laughs> Uh, do you think we could see some trash get smashed? Absolutely! Oh, <laughs> great! I'm gonna just go run over there and start the truck up and you'll watch Max start smashing. <laughs> Whoa! I am so excited to see the Smash My Trash Truck crush some trash! It's gonna make it so small and compact and it'll make it better for the environment! <laughs> Whoa! And check out the bin! <laughs> Whoa! There's so much trash here! Look, there's cardboard, Paper? Whoa! And it looks like a really big metal bin. <laughs> okay, it's getting started. <laughs> Let's back up a little so we're not too close and nice and safe. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa! Check out the boom! <laughs> it's so tall! Check it out! <laughs> Drum is awesome! <laughs> You see that? The smashing drone is turning and grinding up all the trash to make it smaller. Yeah, it's more compact. Whoa! <laughs> The trash was this high, and now it's really low. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no way! There was a big plastic barrel, and it chopped it in a lot of pieces. Whoa! Check it out! <laughs> oh, that's so cool! Whoa! This truck is so powerful! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa! That was awesome! Hi, Steve! Hi, Blippi! <laughs> that was so fun smashing the trash! Well, I hope you enjoyed it, because you know what? We have another bin to smash right now! Whoa! We have another bin to smash? Do you think I could smash it? I'm thinking you should be smashing it. Oh, that would be so great! <laughs> let's do it. Okay, let's go smash some trash. All righty. <laughs> oh, hi, Max. Hi, Blippi. <laughs> hi. Do you think you could show me how to smash some trash? Of course. Hop on in the cab. <laughs> okay, great. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, check it out. I'm climbing into the cab of the truck. <laughs> Whoa. Close that for you. I'll close the door. Safety first. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm in the cab. Yeah. Well, Max, I really want to smash some trash, but I don't know how to start. Okay. First, let me go ahead and show you how to turn the machine on. Okay. Grab that key. Okay. And flip it to the right. Oh, it uses a key just like a car. <laughs> Whoa, that's really cool. And then once I turn it on, what do I do next? You're going to go ahead and lower the boom by pressing the left joystick. Whoa. Take the left joystick. Press it up. And I'll move it up. Yes. And then once I lower the drum, what do I do next? You're gonna go ahead and start rotating the drum by using the second joystick. Okay. And then the second joystick, gonna move that forward and backward and forward. <laughs> well, I think I know everything I need. There you go. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Crushing trash with the Smash My Trash Truck. And it was really interesting learning about where garbage goes once you throw it away. <laughs> well, that
that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. It's me, Mika. And today, I'm at Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California. <laughs> Woo! look at these blocks. They're so fun and light. They're made out of foam. And look, this one is orange. And oh, there's a blue one there, too. And it says, welcome. <laughs> That's so nice. I'm really excited because there are trampolines here and foam pits that you can jump into. And I really want to learn how to do a flip. I wonder if there's someone here who can teach me how to do that. Let's go find out. Hi, Mika. Hi, I'm Priscilla. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Sky Zone. Ooh, thank you. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> awesome. Okay, first we do need to pick out some wristbands Ooh, in order to go inside the park. I love wristbands. Hmm. So which color would you like? Oh, let's see. There's orange, green, <gasps> yellow. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. I want Mine this one. too. All right, here, let's go. Thank you, so official. <laughs> and now we have to pick out some socks. Okay, why do we need to put on special socks? The special socks have grip on them so that when you're on the trampoline, you don't slip. Oh, that's so smart. Hmm, let's see, we have some orange socks and ooh, some blue and black and pink socks. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with the orange. I love this color, and my best friend Blippi really loves orange. I'm gonna wear these. All right, perfect. <laughs> Thank so you. What brings you in today? Oh, I really want to learn how to do a flip on the trampoline. All right, perfect. We have Quincy in the park who can teach you how to do a flip. Wow. Okay, let's go find Quincy. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> and this huge foam pit behind me. Wow, I've never seen so many trampolines before. Will you count them with me? Awesome, let's go. Okay, ready? One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Wow, five trampolines. I wonder where Quincy is. That's who's supposed to teach me how to do a flip. Oh, I'm so excited. Where is he though? I wonder if he's in the foam pit. Should I jump in and see? <laughs> Let's do it. Woo, wow. <laughs> Quincy. Quincy. Except me. <laughs> Whoa, it says foam zone. That's where we are in this big foam zone. Check out these blocks. Look, you see a square? When there's six squares together, that makes a cube. And these are made out of foam, so it's soft and squishy, so it feels really fun and nice to jump into a foam pit and you don't get hurt. <laughs> Look, there's orange, blue, and black. <laughs> this is so fun. I can't wait till I learn how to do a flip. I wonder where Quincy is. <gasps> Maybe he's over there. Come on, let's go. It's orange, it's round, and oh, it bounces. This is a basketball. But why would a basketball be at a trampoline park? <gasps> hey, they're 
it's a basketball hoop. <laughs> and another trampoline. I bet jumping on a trampoline and throwing a basketball into the hoop is a lot easier than if you're just on a regular ground. Oh, I'm gonna try it. Okay, let's see. On three, one, two, three. Ah, didn't get it in. Oh, here's another one. It's yellow. Maybe I'll try and throw it backwards. One, two, three. Whoa. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Hmm, maybe if I do three big bounces to the hoop, that will go in. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, there's one more ball. Okay, how should I do this one? Hmm, maybe I'll do one giant bounce and a turn for finesse. <laughs> Ready? One. Oh, I still didn't get it in. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna keep looking for Quincy. I can't wait to learn how to do a flip. <sighs> Quincy! No, Quincy. <laughs> Let's go over to the other side. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Do you know what this is? This is a balance beam. It's called that because it's a beam and you have to have really good balance to stand on it. Whew. You don't want to wobble and go side to side. Did you know that there are a lot of animals who have really good balance? And mostly because of their tails. <laughs> Squirrels have really good balance because of their swooshy tails. And cats, meow, meow. <laughs> and kangaroos, yeah. Kangaroos have long tails that help them balance. And they're really good jumpers. <laughs> Will you jump with me? <laughs> hey, let's jump over there. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! More trampolines! Look how many are in here! Whoa! Wow! That has to be Quincy! He's so good at jumping! Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Are you Hello? Quincy? I am Quincy. Hi, I'm Mika! It's nice to meet you, Mika. How nice you doing? You too. I'm having so much fun here. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, Mika. So I heard that you are really good at flipping. You might have heard, right? Oh, well, I want to learn how to flip too. Can oh, you help me? I can take good care of you. Oh, awesome. <laughs> what do we need to do first? All right, first and foremost, we have to warm up. Oh, right. It's important to warm up our body so we don't get hurt. Exactly, Mika. Okay, so what do we need to do? So first things first, you know, we're just going to touch the ground. Oh, okay. We're just touch, touch the, the ground. ground. Oh. You know, and then we're gonna lean to the left, and then we're gonna lean it to the right. Okay. Ah. And you know, once your legs feel all good, you get some jumping jacks in. Woo! You know, you know, have some fun with it. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Wow, it's kind of like making a snow angel in the air. Exactly. Whoa! <laughs> Wow, okay, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm getting warmer and looser. All right, you feeling warm and loose? I think so. All right, let's see if you can do a jump twist spin. Whoa, a jump twist. Okay, ready? Whoa, like okay. that? Just like that. Wow. Right. I got what else can we you. do? Well, you ever done a somersault? Yeah, have you ever done a somersault before? Okay, let's do it together. All right, you know how to do a somersault, Mika? Yeah. So what are the first steps, just first as a steps, reminder? Visualize your platform. Ooh, okay. Visualize. Then you're gonna put your hands out. Okay. Oh. And fall. Okay, so hands out, and what do I do with my head? You're gonna tuck your head in like a bowling ball. Oh, tuck your head in like a bowling ball. You're gonna tuck and roll. And then become the ball. <laughs> become the ball. Here I go. Whoa! <laughs> ha, 
Just like that, Mika. That was so fun. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay, ready? All right. Visualize. Visualize. Head tucked. Head tucked. And become the ball. Become the ball. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that was really fun. That was really fun. Now I got a question for you. Yeah. Think you can do it in the air? Oh, I've never tried before. You want me to show you? Yes, please. All right. Well, first, you're going to get a whole <laughs> lot of air. Whoa. A whole lot of air. And then, next you're going to do you tuck your chin again. So once you get all that air, you're going to tuck your chin. And remember, only try and do a flip if you're with a grown-up. Oh, yeah. Whoa, did you see that? He just did a front flip in the air. That was amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. How do you jump that high? Uh, <sighs> basketball helps. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Sometimes, you just got to have fun with it in the air. Hop over your leg. Wow, you're so good Meditate at jumping. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, that was so fun. But Quincy, I don't know if I'm ready to do a flip in the air like you just did. Well, you gotta keep practicing, Mika, and then you'll get it. I got it. So, I have to remember to jump really high, stay in one spot, tuck my head, and go forward like a ball. Exactly. It's just like a somersault, but you're taking away the ground. Got it. Thank you so much. Of course, Mika. I'm going to take all of these things, and I'm going to practice, and then one day I'll get to do a front flip just like you, Quincy. I hope so, Mika. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course. I'm going to go bounce now. All right, me too. See you later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was so much fun playing and bouncing at Sky Zone Trampoline Park. <laughs> I really wanted to learn how to do a flip today, and Quincy was an amazing teacher. He knows a lot about flipping and bouncing on trampolines. Oh, and it was so fun jumping into the foam pit. The foam pit was nice and soft and squishy and oh, made out of blocks like this. Wait a second. Do you know what this says? It says, Mika. <laughs> That's me. That's my name. Well, I had so much fun playing and learning with you today. If you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Awesome. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. We'll see you next time. Bye. It's me, Whippy, and today we're here at Easter Seals, Southern California. We get to visit one of their therapy centers. <laughs> I am so excited. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> this room is awesome. Look, <laughs> looks like there's so many fun things to play on. <laughs> this is a basketball hoop. Whoa, check it out. There's the hoop. <laughs> The backboard. <laughs> and the net. Ooh. And we want to try to get this ball in the net. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Uh-oh, we missed. <laughs> Ooh. But that's okay. If you try something the first time and you miss, that's okay. You do it again, and again, and again. <laughs> That's called practice. And if you do lots of practice, then you're sure to get better. And I want to get better at basketball. Woohoo! Uh-oh, we missed again. But I have a really good idea. Slam dunk! Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I wonder if there's anybody else around here that I could play with. Hmm. Hmm. You know, a good way to make friends is to introduce yourself. Hello, it's me, Blippi. <laughs> and then just ask them to play. Would you like to play with me? <laughs> See, it's that easy. And now you and I are best friends. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Check out this slide. <laughs> okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! 
<laughs> Whoa! Hey, do you hear that? Huh, what's that noise? Oh, <laughs> hey, check it out! <laughs> hello, hi! Whoa, hello there! <laughs> wow, do you see it? It's a real life robot! <laughs> hi, I'm Blippi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Hans. Whoa! Did you hear that? <laughs> Hi, Hans! It's so nice to meet you! Ooh. Hey, maybe we can ask Hans a question. <laughs> Hans, would you like to be our friend? <laughs> hey! Did you see that? Hans did a little dance! <laughs> that means he's happy! And it must mean yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Whoa! Well, Hans, now that we're friends, what should we do together? Over there, please. <laughs> Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah. Hans put out his hand and he motioned for us to go with him. Hmm. <laughs> I bet Hans has somewhere fun to take us. <laughs> wow! Whoa! Hey, look! Hans was pointing at the table. <laughs> it looks like there are some healthy snacks over there. <laughs> Hans, did you set those out for me to eat? Yes, Blippi. Aww, <laughs> that is so nice of you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, did you hear that? I said thank you. Do you use words like please and thank you too? <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> it's really important when someone does something for you to say thank you because you appreciate it, <laughs> and you appreciate them. Ah, thank you, Hans, that was so nice. <laughs> Hans, would you like to go sit over at the table? Yes. <laughs> Where would you like to sit? Over there, please. Ah, huh, okay, <laughs> here we go. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, did you hear that? Hans said the words, please. <laughs> when I asked him to come over to the table, and he also said thank you, <laughs> because he appreciated what I did. <laughs> Aw, you are so nice. <laughs> and this food looks so tasty. <gasps> Whoa, look at it. <laughs> Yellow bananas. <laughs> oh, tomatoes and broccoli. Oh, I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> but first, I need to make sure my hands are clean. We need to wash our hands. Okay, I'll be right back, Hans. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to make sure your hands are squeaky clean. <laughs> but Hans, he doesn't need to wash his hands. He's a robot. <laughs> oh, check it out. <laughs> this is a sink where we can wash our hands. Ooh, and look. It's all the steps to properly wash them. <laughs> Step number one says water on. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Step number two, hands wet. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Now that my hands are wet, we can go to step number three. Rub hands with soap and because we want squeaky clean hands, we want to make sure we rub our hands with soap for longer than 10 seconds. Whew. Okay, <laughs> here we go. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and whoa, <laughs> 10. <laughs> whoa, and because we don't want soapy hands. <laughs> we want to rinse them off. Okay. Next, we turn off the water. You don't want to waste water. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, we dry off our wet hands. <laughs> Now that our hands are clean, we can eat a delicious and healthy snack. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa, 
look at all the amazing snacks here. <laughs> we have yellow bananas. Hmm, I wonder how these taste. Whoa, look, <laughs> it looks like I'm smiling. <laughs> Ooh. And hmm, we have some other yummy vegetables here. <laughs> but let's start with the bananas. Okay, time to peel the banana. <laughs> Look how cool it is when the banana is peeled. Yeah, <laughs> and it tastes sweet. Mm -hmm. And this banana is soft, soft and sweet. <laughs> Ooh, I like the taste of that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Whoa, let's try some tomatoes. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> I wonder what these tomatoes will taste like. Whoa, those tomatoes have so much flavor. <laughs> They're kind of salty and they certainly are juicy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they have a very interesting taste. Whoa, and look, <laughs> they kind of look like little bouncy balls. Boing, 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 boing. Bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. <laughs> Those are fun to eat. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's a little tree. It's a little forest of trees. Whoa, hello trees. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. These aren't trees. They just look like trees. These are broccoli. Hello, broccoli. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Whoa, that broccoli is so crunchy. Oh, and look, some green celery. Hmm, I wonder how this will taste. Whoa, the banana was really soft, but the celery, hmm, it wasn't very soft. It was definitely crunchy. Oh, and it kind of tastes a little sweet. Hmm, <laughs> I like that celery. <laughs> hmm. Whoa, and check it out, it's an orange carrot. Mm. <laughs> orange carrots are so cool looking. Do you know why they're so cool looking? Because it's orange, <laughs> one of my two favorite colors. Okay, here we go. Yum, <laughs> that is so tasty. Yeah, the orange carrot is sweet and crunchy. Whoa! <laughs> wow, Hans, these were some really good snacks to pick out for me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hans, can we play together? <laughs> did you see that? Hans did a little dance. Sounds like he wants to play together. Well, do you know of any place that we can go and play? Oh, check it out! <laughs> He moved his arm in this motion. Yeah, that means he wants us to go with him. Okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go play. <laughs> Whoa, this place is amazing. <laughs> Look, there's a slide, a rock climbing wall, and a really cool swing. <laughs> hmm. Hans, do you want to ride the swing? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here you go, Hans. Whoa, check out this swing. <laughs> Whoa, there you go. <laughs> Whoa, Hans and I are riding the swing. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, this is fun. <laughs> this is fun. Hi, Hans. Hi, Blippi. Oh, hi. What's your name? My name is Michelle. I'm a speech therapist here at Easter Seals. Oh, it's very nice to meet you, Michelle. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. And you said you're a speech therapist? Oh, well, what does a speech therapist do? We help kids learn to talk, play, and just learn new things. Oh, <laughs> whoa! Well, I love playing and learning new things. <laughs> and so does Hans. 
We've been having so much fun playing together today. <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun. In this room, we help kids learn to move in new ways. We play games and practice things like taking turns. Whoa, games are so fun. Hey, maybe we should all play a game together. But what game should we play? Hide and seek. Whoa, great idea, Hans. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. But we need to remember to take turns. So who should go first? Hans would like to go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hans will go first and count to 10. Michelle and I are gonna hide. <laughs> okay, we're ready to play. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hans, you count to 10 and Michelle and I are gonna go hide. <laughs> See if you can find us. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. There you are. Hans, you found me! Hooray! I know you're around here somewhere, Blippi. I see you, Blippi. Oh, Hans, you found me! <laughs> oh, I have an idea. Now, I'll count to 10 and you and Michelle hide. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna count to 10. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> me. Good job. <laughs> that was so fun! <laughs> Whoa! That game of hide and seek was so fun! It was! <laughs> oh, well, thanks for playing with us, Hans. Thanks for playing with us, Michelle. <laughs> yes, it was so nice to meet you today, Blippi. Uh, bye! Bye! Bye, Hans! Bye-bye. <laughs> was nice to meet you! <laughs> Whoa! That was awesome! <laughs> oh, and Hans, do we have time for another activity? What is it? Hans likes to shake his tail. Whoa, me too! Let's have a dance party! <laughs> Let's go! Hans loves the blippy dance. <laughs> Let's dance! <laughs>
was some awesome dancing, Hans. I had so much fun with you today. <laughs> Thanks for being my friend, Blippi. Aw, thank you for being my friend, Hans. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, Blippi. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. <laughs> and we got to make some new friends. Hans the Robot <laughs> and Michelle. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. <laughs> Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Me, Blippi! And today is a beautiful day! <laughs> I just love being outside, soaking up the sun, feeling the breeze, <laughs> and I love being outside because I get to play sports! <laughs> yeah! Like soccer, <laughs> or baseball. <laughs> hmm, what other sports can you play outside? Whoa! 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 Football! <laughs> yeah! I love playing football. Hmm. But football's a lot more fun when you play with someone else. Woo. Hey, Blippi. No way. It's professional football player Joe Hayden. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Hey, Blippi. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Woo. Will you play football with me? Of course I'll play football with you. <laughs> great. Well, let's play. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. First, we got to warm up. Oh, <laughs> that's important. When you play a sport, you want to warm up first. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go! go. <laughs> yeah! Time to warm up! <laughs> so, what should we do first? First, we should probably stretch. I would say high knees. Okay, you can do it with us. Make sure your knees go nice and high. Okay, uh, how many should we do? Ten. Okay, here we go. Let's count to ten. <laughs> Ready, go! One, two, 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 three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. <sighs> Whoa, <laughs> good job. <laughs> that was some good stretching. Yes. <laughs> so what next? Uh, next, we should probably stretch out our arms. Okay, let's stretch out those arms. <laughs> <sighs> hmm, and what should we count to? Mm, ten. Okay, here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> now the other side. <laughs> One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> yeah! <sighs> now we have our legs stretched, our arms stretched. Hmm. Is there one more stretch we can do? Uh, yeah, let's spread our legs. Okay. <laughs> and go both hands to the right leg. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Whoa. And Joe, do you stretch like this before every game? Uh, every single game. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Other leg? Other leg. <laughs> Oh, and have you been playing football for a really long time? I've been playing professional for 12 years. Whoa, 12 years? <laughs> That's a lot of football and a lot of stretching. <laughs> Ooh, I feel really warmed up now. So are there any other things we need to learn or maybe drills we could do before mm, we play? I got my favorite drill. It's called the W drill. <laughs> the W drill? Yes. Ooh, just like the letter? Just like the letter. Okay, <laughs> let's you do try the it? W drill. Yeah, okay. So you're gonna go backwards, okay, and then forwards and create a W. Oh, like a W. <laughs> okay, I'll make a W going all the way that way. Here we go. Whoa! Good job. <laughs> Four. Good job. Whoa. <laughs> Four. Good <Whoa>. job. <laughs> yeah! I did it! <laughs> Whoa, that was fun. Ooh, now we should switch. Okay, it's your turn. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Yes. That was great! Thank you. Whoa, Joe's really good at it because he's a professional. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I had one other question. How do you win a football game? Um, whoever scores the most points. Oh, oh, and how do you score points? You either run it or pass it. <laughs> yeah, and then you get a touchdown! <laughs> Ooh. Could we try some passing? Yeah, let's try this passing. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa! Here you go. The pass. Whoa! Do you see that? Yeah, the football spins. Whoa! Yeah, that's so that the football can go really far 
and really fast. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to pass it like this. You want to spin it. Okay, here you go, Joe. <laughs> Poga pass. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. <laughs> nice catch. Oh, yeah, that was great. <laughs> Ooh, I think we've done so much practicing. I'm ready to try for a touchdown. <laughs> yeah. Think we can do it? I think we can do it. Okay, here you go. I'm going to go really far. Going deep. Here we go. Wow! Yeah! <laughs> we yes. did it! Touchdown! Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, and what happens when you get a touchdown? Oh, my favorite time. I know you like to dance, so you can do a touchdown dance. No way! Will you do a touchdown dance with us? <laughs> Great! Okay, what dance? My favorite touchdown dance is the gritty. <laughs> okay, let's do the gritty! Can you do it with me? Yeah! Let's go! Check it out! Joe and I are wearing jerseys and pads! <laughs> Whoa! Joe, do you always wear pads when you play in a game? Oh yeah, always wear pads to protect my shoulders and to protect my chest. <laughs> yeah! And do you wear anything else to be safe? Oh, I wear a helmet to protect my face and to protect my brain. <laughs> <laughs> That's really important. <laughs> it's fun to play sports, but really important to stay safe. <laughs> oh, I'm really starting to feel like a pro football player. Hey, I wanted to become a pro football player. What's the first thing I need to do? You need to play football all the time, <laughs> practice, and get really good grades. Whoa, practicing, playing football, getting good grades. <laughs> yeah, that sounds super fun. <laughs> oh, and I've seen a lot of football. People throwing the ball, catching the ball, kicking the ball, running with the ball. Whoa, <laughs> what position do you play? I play cornerback, so I stop touchdowns. Whoa, did you hear that? Joe is a cornerback. That means he stops the touchdowns. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, can you also intercept the ball? Oh yeah, I can get interceptions. Anybody on the defense, when the quarterback throws it, we intercept it. Whoa, did you hear that? Have you heard of an interception before? <laughs> yeah, an interception means when someone from the defense catches the ball, it's their turn. <laughs> yeah, whoa. And if you're trying to get an interception, what's the best way to catch? Uh, the best way to catch, I call it diamond hands. Diamond hands. Hello! <laughs> Whoa! Can you do diamond hands with us? <laughs> yeah! And is that so that you can catch the football with it That's going in the there? the nose of the ball comes right in here, and you catch it, it sticks. Whoa! The nose goes through the diamond! Hello! <laughs> Whoa! That sounds super fun. Well, I think it's time for us to play some more football. Let's go get our helmets. Perfect. Okay! <laughs> Yeah, check it out! We have our helmets on and we're all ready to start playing! Okay, let's start! <laughs> Woo! Okay, here we go. Whoa! Did you see that? a lot of hard work. I didn't catch any of the footballs. <laughs> I think I need some more drills. <laughs> oh, I got a lot more drills for you. Okay, cool. <laughs> Can we do one? Oh, for sure. Okay, which is the first drill we should do? I got you, but So the first drill we're gonna do, since I'm a cornerback and I like to always shuffle side to side, I don't let the receivers by me, and I always got a backpedal too. So I'm gonna do both drills. Firstly, backpedal, 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 backpedal. We get to the ball, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Get to the other ball, run forward. And then we shuffle again, all the way across. Whoa, that sounds so fun. Can I try it? Please do. Okay, here we go. Start with backpedaling, then we're gonna shuffle, and then run and shuffle some more. Okay, here we go. <laughs> back, back. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Run. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. <laughs> yeah, let's try it again. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> We did it! Yeah! <laughs> Great job, Blue. So what's the next drill we can do? Okay, the next drill we got is called the X drill. Whoa, the X drill. Hmm, kind of like the letter. <laughs> so this is when you backpedaling and you're breaking on like a comeback route. So you oh. backpedal, 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 backpedal. Plant here, run straight. 
back pedal, back pedal, back pedal, back pedal, back pedal, plant here, run straight, and I'm gonna throw you an interception. Okay, <laughs> whoa, that one looks a little tougher, and we have to catch a pass. We need to make an interception, <laughs> let's do it. Okay, here we go. Yeah! Hey. We made an interception! <laughs> nice! Good job! Whoa. It looks like I'm getting a lot better. Yeah, if you play a sport like football or really any sport and you make a mistake, that's okay. If you keep practicing, you're sure to get better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! That was awesome! Seeing a real cornerback in action. <laughs> it must take a real athlete to be so fast and good at intercepting and blocking. Whoa! Oh, that reminds me. What was your favorite play you've ever been a part of? My favorite play I've ever been a part of, I had an interception on Sunday Night Football versus Tom Brady. Whoa! Against Tom Brady? Oh, oh, he's one of the best quarterbacks of all time. That makes you one of the best cornerbacks. <laughs> yeah! Oh, that is so awesome. Huh. I wonder what that looked like. Hmm. Well, it's been a lot of fun playing together, but I bet it'd be even more fun playing with more people. Mm. Mm. You know what? I think I have just the people to play with us. Oh, I wonder who? Okay, I gotta be fast! Ah, ah, ah. You guys want to have a dance party? Whoa! Keep those arms Keep spaghetti! Those arms going, Joey, Whoa! Whoa! Spaghetti! Whoa! Today was awesome! Thank you so much, Joe, for teaching us about football and what it takes to be a cornerback. <laughs> Man, Blippi, it was my pleasure. Thank uh, you so much for coming over and playing football with me. Yeah, it was so much fun! <laughs> well, we're both a little tired from all this playing and football, but I do have one more thing to ask. What's that? Would you dance with me? Of course. <laughs> yeah, let's dance! After all that practice, I am certainly getting the hang of things. <laughs> and it helps to have a great coach, Joe Hayden! Woohoo! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. <laughs> Blippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Woohoo! me, Blippi. And look at what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm on a hike. Whoa, I've been hiking for a very long time today. Yeah, and I think I made it to the top of a mountain. Whoa, this mountain has a lot of bushes, shrubs, trees. Whoa, and really big rocks. So cool. Wow, I love going on hikes because you get out in nature, you smell the fresh air. Ah, wow, and look at how high we are up here on the mountain. You can see so many mountains. Hello, mountains! Hello, mountains! Whoa, did you hear it echo? That's <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> oh. Look, do you see that? That looks like a big dome. Yeah, that must be where a telescope is. Yeah, today we're at Mount Wilson Observatory on Mount Wilson in California. And this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go explore. Whoa! Check it out! 
This dome is massive! Wow, it is so big. There's definitely a telescope inside there. <laughs> yeah, do you know what a telescope is? Yeah, it's a piece of equipment used to peer out into outer space. You can see planets, you can see stars, and all sorts of cool things. <laughs> yeah, the people that go into outer space are called astronauts. Yeah, but the people from Earth that study outer space are called astronomers. Today, you and I can be astronomers. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Did you hear that echo? Yeah, that's because we're in the dome. So cool. Yeah, and speaking of cool, yeah, check it out. This is the telescope. Oh, I sure do love that color. Yeah, it's the color blue. You already know, it's one of my two favorite colors. Whoa! Do you know how a telescope works? Yeah. Basically, there's an opening up top, way up there. Some light enters, say from a star or a planet, and then it bounces off some mirrors, and then it goes to the eyepiece. Oh, the eyepiece? Yeah, whoa! Check it out. Yeah, this is what you look through to see things at night with the telescope. Whoa, yeah. Do you want to see what you could see with this exact telescope if it was nighttime? Yeah! Woo! Yeah, do you see that? That is the planet Saturn! Whoa! And I know it's Saturn because of all those colorful rings. So cool! Woo! And what's that? Yeah! That's our planet Jupiter! That's the Biggest planet in our solar system. Whoa, it's so big. Whoa, and it looks like Jupiter has a lot of moons. Wow, <laughs> yeah, planet Earth, we only have one moon. Whoa, whoa, look at that. Yeah, looks like Andromeda Galaxy. That is the closest galaxy to our galaxy. Our galaxy is the Milky Way Galaxy. Whoa. Oh, and what's that? Ooh, Orion Nebula. Yeah, that is where all the stars are born in our galaxy. Whoa, <laughs> this telescope is awesome. And how it sees all these things in outer space, since they're in different locations, that means this telescope moves. <laughs> Maybe we can go to the control board and move the telescope ourselves. Yeah, let's go. So many stairs. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, who are you? Hi, I'm Tom. Oh, nice to meet you, Tom. Hi. I'm Blippi. What do Good you do here? Good to meet you. I'm the telescope operator. Ooh, the telescope operator. Yes. So that means you push buttons to make the telescope go left, right, up, down. That's right. Wow. Why do you have a computer here, Tom? This uh, tells me the address of what I want to look at. If I want to look at this, star, uh -huh. it tells me where to look. Wow, that's really cool. He needs a computer to have the address of say a planet or a star, and that tells him where to point the telescope at. Right. Wow, that is really cool. And why do you have a clock way over there? Well, I have to tell the time. This is star time. Ooh, star time? Exactly. It's huh? called a sidereal clock. Ooh, a sidereal clock. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, you can't look at stars during the day. <laughs> Ooh, and what are all these buttons? These are to move the telescope. I have to point, move the scope to the star or object I want to look at. Ooh, N-E-S-W. North, east, south, west? That's right. Whoa, cool! And Tom, do you mind if we, like, operate the telescope and maybe make something move? Sure. Let's open up the dome first. Cool! Would you push that button, please? This button? Yes. All right, here we go! Really cool. <laughs> Thanks for letting me do that. 
And uh, what else does the telescope do? Well, we have to move the dome around. We have to point it in different directions. Hmm. Wait here a second. Let me let me show you. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? What do you think of that? Wow, that was awesome! Thank you so much for showing me this awesome telescope! Glad to have you here. All right, see you later! So long. Bye-bye! Bye! Whoa, check it out! We're at the Astronomical Museum! Yeah, and at this place, they have a lot of really cool old gadgets that they used to use to learn about outer space. Shall we? Look at these! Whoa, they look like wheels! Yeah, like wheels on a car. <laughs> but actually, these are wheels that are on the dome. So then the dome can spin around. So cool! <laughs> Whoa, yeah! I know what this is. It kind of looks like a telescope, doesn't it? Yeah! Ooh! Yeah, whoa, you can see stars with this, planets, whoa, other galaxies maybe. Oh, cool. Whoa, excuse me. <laughs> whoa, look. This is a really big piece of glass. Wow. Yeah, remember how telescopes work? Yeah, you have a mirror and another mirror, and light bounces back, and then eventually after it bounces off a couple mirrors, then it goes into the eyepiece. And this piece of glass used to have silver on it. So then it was really shiny, like a mirror. <laughs> oh, speaking of mirrors, look, there's a mirror right over there. Whoa, whoa, hello. Yeah, this mirror came from a real telescope. A very old one, of course. Yeah, because we're at a museum. Well, shall we keep learning about telescopes and outer space? Yeah. Whoa, check it out. Another telescope. And this is the 150 foot solar telescope. Solar means sun. Yeah, this telescope, you can look at the sun. Okay, before we go in, I have to tell you, never look at the sun unless you have a solar telescope, okay? It's very important. It's not good for our eyes. <laughs> good job. All right, let's go. Whoa. Whoa, cool. Check this out. Whoa. Look at all of these charts. Whoa, and graphs. <laughs> and some pictures of the sun. Yeah, we're definitely in the right place to find the solar telescope. Let's see, where could it be? Hmm. <gasps> Whoa, cool. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> it is so cool. And remember how I said it's a 150 foot solar telescope? Yeah, that's because the telescope itself is 150 feet tall. Yeah, that's really tall. That's about 50 meters, whoa. All right, you never wanna look directly at the sun, okay? And the only reason why we're gonna be able to see the sun is because we're using a solar telescope, not a normal telescope, a solar telescope. All right, are you ready? <laughs> oh, whoa, check it out. Whoa, do you see this? Yeah, this is a live image of our sun, yeah. This light is coming down and hitting this white piece of paper. Yeah, so we can see our sun right now. This is so cool. Whoa, I love solar telescopes. Yeah. Whoa, I think we're in outer space. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. 
blast off thousands of miles an hour Using all of that big rocket power It's so loud, oh you just can't ignore it See you later as we fly out of orbit that can take you into outer space Maybe you and aliens will come face to face I'll take you on a journey to the stars and back Making our own way cause we ain't got no track And so we need to use a seatbelt There's no gravity we are searching for Something planetary heading home for Earth We do it gradually gotta get back home To humanity Blast off thousands of miles an hour Using all of that big rocket power It's so loud, oh you just can't ignore it See you later as we fly Fly my rocket far away Flying far away in outer space Blast off from the base Taking off to outer space Fly my rocket far away Flying far away in outer space Blast off from the base Taking off to outer space Hasn't this been so much fun learning about outer space and telescopes together? Yeah! Hey, do you know how many planets are in our solar system? Yeah, there's actually eight. All right, so first we have our sun. Yeah, and then we have Mercury, <laughs> Venus, Earth, that's our planet, <laughs> Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, whoa! And all of these planets rotate around our sun. And we are in the Milky Way galaxy. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> wow, wasn't that so much fun today? Yeah, I had a great day with you, learning about outer space. Yeah, aren't telescopes really cool? Yeah, it's so cool being able to see into outer space, seeing some planets, stars, and all sorts of cool things. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy, and today we are here at Sun Buggy Fun Rentals in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I am so excited because we get to learn all about different kinds of vehicles <laughs> that go really, really fast. And if we're lucky, maybe we can even drive one. <laughs> Come on, let's go explore. This place. What's Hi. up, Blippi? Hi, what's your name? I'm Matt. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Whoa! And what is this vehicle you're working on? Right here we have a dune buggy. Whoa, a dune buggy? Well, why do you call it that? We actually specifically designed these machines for the dunes, for hills, bumps, and jumps. <laughs> Whoa, I love hills, bumps, and jumps. <laughs> this vehicle is awesome. Whoa, and check it out. It has a really big wheel and tire. <laughs> yeah. And you see, this tire has lots of really big treads to grab the sand and the dirt so it can go really fast up those hills, bumps, and jumps. <laughs> and 
also has shocks. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, and check it out! It's also my favorite color! One of my two favorite colors. Orange! <laughs> uh, but Matt, this looks a little different from a regular car. I can see through it! <laughs> we actually make it like that, so the roll cage keeps you safe and you have fun. Whoa, that's always good. Be safe when you're having fun. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. It's the engine. Whoa, <laughs> it's so big. Looks like this dune buggy can go really fast. <laughs> These dune buggies can go 35 miles an hour in the sand. Whoa, 35 miles per hour in the sand. <laughs> that's really fast. <laughs> well, I really wish I could ride one of these dune buggies. <laughs> well, do you want to go out to the desert and try one? Would I? That would be awesome! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at this place! It's so big! <laughs> and really sandy and sunny. <laughs> Matt, where are we? We're in the Mojave Desert. Whoa! The Mojave Desert? Awesome! It sure is sandy here. And it looks like there are lots of hilly sand and Looks like sand everywhere, really. <laughs> yeah, those hills are sand dunes. Oh, sand dunes? Did someone make them? Nope, just nature, wind and sand. Oh, that's so cool. Wait a minute, sand dune, dune buggy? Do we get to ride on the sand dunes? Just you today. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, I am so excited to ride on a sand dune and drive a dune buggy. Whoa! Check it out! Look at all these vehicles! <laughs> hey, I know this one. It's a dune buggy. Mm, but Matt, what are th what's this vehicle over here? This one over here? Yeah. This is a UTV, a utility vehicle. Whoa, a UTV! Awesome! It looks kind of like a dune buggy. It has four wheels. One, two, three, Four, but you can't see through it. <laughs> and it looks a little bit different. It also has uh, one of these. What's it has a called? roll cage, just like the dune buggy. Oh, cool. A roll cage, so it's nice and safe. <laughs> uh, but Matt, what's this back here? Is this, this a is, trunk? <laughs> this is a bed like a truck. Whoa, that's really handy. So I guess if you're on a farm and you need to put tools in it, yeah. you have a trunk. So Ooh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, hey, and check it out. There's another vehicle over here. <laughs> Whoa. This one is our ATV. This is an all-terrain vehicle. ATV, all-terrain vehicle. <laughs> awesome. Whoa, it's a little bit smaller than the other two, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks super fast <laughs> and has four wheels, but Matt, it doesn't have a steering wheel. No steering wheel? These are called handlebars. Whoa, just like a motorcycle or a bicycle? <laughs> This looks pretty fun, but I want to ride the dune buggy over the dunes. <laughs> I'm also really excited to ride it because it's one of my two favorite colors, orange. <laughs> okay, Matt, I think I'm all ready to start driving, but what's the first thing I need to know before I drive the dune buggy? The first rule for driving dune buggies is always safety. Safety first. <laughs> okay, I want to be really safe, so What's the first safety thing I need to know? So we're gonna get you inside of the dune buggy and we're gonna put your seat belts on first. Okay, seat belt first. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is get your seat belt on. Awesome. Here we go. And this buckle here is gonna connect your two seat belts. <laughs> Whoa. Here we go. All strapped in. So what's the next thing I need? Next, and this dune buggy is gonna be your hand straps. These okay. keep your hands inside of the ride at all times. Okay. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Great. Okay, and uh, but how do I drive the dune buggy? So this dune buggy is automatic, just like a car. Ooh, uh, so where do I put the key? <laughs> no key today. <laughs> you just have a switch and a button. Okay. So when you're ready to go, switch goes up, you hit that button, and you're good to go. <laughs> okay, I'm all ready to go. <laughs> First, let's get your helmet, okay? Okay, we'll put on the helmet. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, helmet on. All right, now, make sure your helmet is strapped tight. Pull the strap through the loop. Perfect. Oh, and goggles. <laughs> okay. We want to put on our goggles so we don't have any sand in our eyes. <laughs> it looks like I'm all ready to go. All right. Have fun, Blippi. Woohoo! See you soon.
You did great. Yeah. <laughs> you want to try the ATV now? Yeah, come on. Let's, Let's try go. it out. All right, so this one, a little easier than the dune buggy to start. So you have your key on the right side there. Go ahead and turn your key for me. Okay. Key's on. All right, so now with that thumb, press that button there for me. This one right here? Yep. Okay. Whew. And where's the gas pedal? So where your thumb is, that's your gas pedal. Okay, here we go. You did great. <laughs> that was so much fun. Well, we rode the dune buggy and the ATV. You want to try the UTV? <laughs> yeah. All right, don't forget your seatbelt, just like your car. Here we go. And this one is like the ATV. Turn your key to the right, and it'll go ahead and start. OK. Have fun. Here we go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Do you hear that? Do you know what kind of vehicle makes that sound? <laughs> yeah! A truck or a car! Hey, for this next song, let's dance like we're driving a car! Hit the gas, hit the gas, hit the brake, hit the brake, hear the engine, hear the engine, do a figure eight. Well, you can tell when your car needs to go fast You wanna put your foot down and hit the gas If there's something ahead and you need to make A sudden stop, then hit the brake It's alright, and it's okay Make sure that you look both ways With your hand at nine and your hand at one Let's go for a drive, let's have some fun Hit the gas Hit the gas Hit the brake Hit the brake Hear the engine Figure eight. Do a figure eight. Take the wheel. Take the wheel. Hold it tight. Hold it tight. Flippy buggy. Flippy buggy. All day and night. All day and night. Now you can see from the mirrors on my car. From behind, I can see very far. This is important if I need to break, or especially when I overtake. It's all right, and it's okay. We take it at our own pace. One hand at ten, the other at two. Go for a ride, you know what to do. Hit the gas, hit the gas, hit the brake, hit the brake. Hear the engine, hear the engine. Do a figure eight.
was some good driving. I had so much fun with you here at Sun Buggies in Las Vegas, Nevada. And we learned so much together. We learned all about ATVs, UTVs, and dune buggies. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Okay, B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Lippy, good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Let's ride! <laughs>